Kokiro, Kokiro. Shakira, Shakira. How are you? Hi, Daniel Ira. How, How are, you? are you? I'm good. Good, good. How are you? Good. Good, Daniel Ira. What's new? What's uh, happening? What's... Um, finished a uh, painting this morning for our uh, shapes and design course. Yep. Yeah. Very happy with it. Looser. But um, the objective of the painting was to um, emphasize shapes, repetition, um, repetition in terms of like uh, multi-figure composition, mm -hmm. but also, um, you know, I tried to put in some nice negative spaces, some nice, um, you know, big mass of light, big mass of shadow, and instead of being atmospheric, more more so um, make it about design, about the contour being interesting. Mm -hmm. So um, so the painting doesn't really rely upon um, rendering or developing a form extensively, but it's more about just simple, fundamental composing, designing. So it's very fun. Um, the courses, both courses, the color course and this one have... Um, have really made me um, just focus on, you know, very basic things that are just absolutely beautiful in picture making. So it's um, it's been great to go back to doing like a um, longer course, longer than workshops, let's say. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a feeling more akin to what um, teaching in in a faculty kind of Portion, felt like yeah. and um and it just gives me also time to to work on things that i i mean i i think all the paintings that i do are very much my paintings but um but it's very nice to make like compressed versions of those paintings so that they can fit into a um a painting workshop so a painting course mm -hmm. so i'm i'm very happy and in both um, color and shapes and design we've uh, counted with super cool groups so for I, I always think that for um, you know if, if, if it's a workshop it could be like a three day or a five day workshop or if it's a whole semester or if it's a um, an eight week course like the ones that we do um, if you count with a group that is super on board with everything then everything is just much easier and it's also much cooler like mm. the results are much much cooler too like so all those things that that they really push me into um working hard for the uh for the courses so i'm super happy um tomorrow no not tomorrow thursday is going to be our last session because friday i go to menorca yeah yeah so um it's been um, not hectic, but uh, but work. It's been a lot of work. So we're gonna be missing you here. Yeah, I'm gonna miss uh, both you and Chilanderas uh, <laughs> a lot. But hopefully, uh, once that's done, I thought about. We've talked about this. I thought about um, offering a color course, yeah. but I think we're gonna wait till mm -hmm. second semester. Uh, and it's not so much that I'm burnt out. It's just that I, um, I, I feel it's a little too sudden to. I mean, there, there's enough people that are interested, which is very. I'm very, very grateful for that. But I think it's a little too sudden to just offer them, you know, kind of squeeze them in in all the little moments that I can. So, um, so I think they're going to be back. Both courses are going to be back second semester of the year. Although there may be some some workshops that I have to do, so I have to try and see when I can fit them. Yeah, that's also important. I hadn't well, really thought of that, but I have to think about that. I do have my calendar. Oh, and I have everything that you've told me. Yeah, there. so yeah, so, so we, we have to see with that where we have like easier. eight weeks, eight free weeks, so we can do it there. But but anyways, I finished that painting. Um, this morning slash afternoon and um and i thought okay we can we can comfortably 
uh, do a live video. And yes. what I what I did do was like draw quickly uh, this um, this pose, this Daniel Ira uh, with her old phone. Ooh. Ah. And um, and uh, I'm gonna try and do um, one of these nice. Um, you know, heavy compositions, heavy in the sense that they're they're always kind of like unbalanced. Um, so this would be a top heavy composition, mm -hmm. uh, very much in the uh, Degas, you know, kind of line of composing. So this is going to be empty space, empty table, but, you know, we can abstract it into just a very empty space. Mm -hmm. mm. And then it's just a dark mask, which I think the gest your gesture here it's very beautiful. I um, have a question. Yes, please. Because I haven't seen the photo. Uh, this was at my but brother's. No. That's what I was trying to oh. get. I was going to tell you that I mm. think I, I knew never that shut table. Up. Yeah. That was in your brother's house yeah. when we were doing the shippings. But yeah, and it's actually I mean, like a round. It's a round table. Is it a round table? Yeah. yeah, it's a round table. So the photo is actually up to here. Mm -hmm. And it's actually... A lot of the wall, but I thought it was nice to. Um, it is nice to yeah because I'm guessing there's a like a bigger like a way bigger curve. I mean, and it probably had like um, that exaggerated distortion from um, from cell phone lenses. Yeah. Um, but um, I thought this was nice yeah. just to keep a little bit of that gesture just going uh, would be very nice and make it uh, top heavy. So, so that's what we're gonna try to do. Simple. Like uh, there's gonna be a like a little triangle of light on your um, on your nose. Um, warm against cool. What else? I mean, I'm not looking at the photo, but I, I remember what we have to do. Nice shapes, like softer shapes of red hair here. Nice shape of light with the. Um, I want to emphasize the light on the hand as opposed to the way the, the fingers finish. Because I think the fingers get stiffer when they go back in space. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of mass the phone and the fingers in, you know, and maybe differentiate them just a little bit, but not too much. Um, and then that's about it. So, yeah, it should be, it should be like a simple painting. Let's mm -hmm. see if we can execute it simply. And I think if we can, it's going to look good. And I think if we can't, uh, we're going to have to work hard to make it look good. So uh, we'll see. But uh, but I think that if I if I can, you know, pull it off simply, it's just like a nice, it's going to be a nice, simple, you know, just top-heavy composition, having all this, like, you know, empty space, but not really empty as in dead, but just... You know, empty as in as in um, you know uh, a big mass of space and a, an expanse of of paint, let's say, because it's about fifty percent of the composition, so it's not mm -hmm. like it's nothing, um, and um, which just um, kind of welcomes you in, and it even like thrusts you in, you know, because of this um, diagonal here. I don't know if this is dark. I mean, if this is dark, dark as because your jacket is dark. Mm -hmm. Um, if this is dark, which I'm not remembering, but I think it is, then yeah, that's that's going to be quite the um, the diagonal there, just throwing you into the painting. But I like that it's I like, like a, guiding, like a guiding path. Yeah, like um, like a radial kind of stroke there. Um, yeah, I think it's cool, simple, simple but cool. So let's see, let's see how we do. Yes. So. So, uh, Catherine Poremsky Catherine. was the first one here. Ooh. And Catherine was saying, Hello, everyone. Am I the first one? Nice. You're yes. the first and only. You were the first one heart. here. How are you, Catherine? Cody Winicky Cody. was saying, Hello there. Hey, Cody. How are you? Norberto Perez was sending a dinosaur. Hey, oh, Norberto. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Victor Barbero dice, Hola. Hola, Víctor, ¿qué tal? Don Víctor. María Cacaíto dice, hola, hola, ¿cómo van? Hola, Chilita. Hola, Cacaíto. Y eh, Cami mandó el emoji del chili, Ajá. que, por cierto, no sé. 
No sabes. ¿Qué pasó con ese chili? Que estaba ¿What? en el dije de... Ah, se lo comió. No, yo no creo que se lo haya pasado. Se lo comió y, y no lo encontramos en el popo. <risa> Eso fue lo Pero que pasó. Pero yo creo que se lo quitó del, del... Ay, qué rabia, del collarcito. Bueno, pero lo tuvo un buen tiempo. Sí, pero ya no lo consigo. Pues lo Está tuvo. Está agotado. Se, se lo gozó un buen tiempo. Mm. Eh, Elizabeth Carlo was saying hello mm -hmm. to all of you. I just ah, eh. hope to have no call. Haha, ha, I'm in the middle of my non-artistic job. Oh. In a crying face. Y Elizabeth dice, muero por ver el desarrollo de los pliegues de la ropa. No, pero... Es... <laughs> Presión o sea, más presión sí. más presión. Sí, algo más con lo que la pueda decepcionar, eh, Elizabeth. Doña Jul Elisa. Julia, ay, así le dices a mi abuela, ah, que es abuela, Elizabeth. La señora Elisa. Julia Tovar dice, woohoo, best notification ever. To be honest, I didn't get my notification. No, I did. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. But it says five minutes ago. What's happening, YouTube? Uh, not paying attention. Then We've either. been here for Ten. 11. Yeah. That's We're how I need late. to talk. That's how I need to talk in Menorca. So the time goes by quickly. <laughs> I need to I need to fit in like like two hours uh, for my talk. No, but I, I've told you that I feel that you're a good talker. I like hope you can so. handle talking. Oh, well, that I know, but I have to make it interesting, too. I can handle talking, but I have to also make it interesting. Well, but you have the first part. You can make it. Now you have to make it interesting, but you can make it. I'm sure you can. Yeah. Because I know a lot of people so bad, that yeah. can Yeah, I feel so bad for, for, um, for artists that, that are not at all comfortable um, talking publicly, mm -hmm. which I don't think, I don't think I'm terribly comfortable i think i hide it really well but i don't think i'm super comfortable but i have to say you are very invested in the things you talk about yes that makes it so easier. that makes it exactly that makes it easier and also like it's easier to prolong yeah the talk the pain. because of that yeah because people can start asking asking questions or i don't know giving like an input to the conversation and it just like keeps flowing and flowing and flowing. Yeah. Because you're into what you're saying. But yeah. I, yeah. But, I hope, I hope um, it goes well. Needless to say. We'll see. I think it will. Catherine Poremsky was saying, you guys are always interesting. Just start talking about mommies. <laughs> <laughs> Plan B. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna. I I would we love that. Actually, I would love if somebody was recording me over there. Yeah. And um, I'm just like super nervous, and uh, and then I just remember Catherine. I'm like, yeah. did you guys know? What that, do you uh, want to do when you die? Yeah. Because I want to be a mommy. The drinks. Too. Ooh, people <laughs> leaving, left and right. Um, Elizabeth Carlo dice, usted nunca decepciona. Jaja, ja, es un privilegio. Yo de ansiosa, sorry. Ja, ja, ja. No, 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 ¿qué tal? Cody Winicky was saying, Are you excited for Spain? One of my students will be there starting with Henrik. Oh, awesome. She Who's wanted that? to work with you, but spots were full already when she applied. Um, so, wh what's their name? Uh, and I'll keep an eye out for them. And Cody was also asking, are you excited for Spain? Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm super excited. I've been... Um, I've been... In Menorca? Yeah, no, no. I was going to say, I've been um, planning as much as I can plan. Um, because I do feel that there is a part that is... Uh, that I'm going to have to be super flexible with. And I have to have like a structure to what I want to do. But since this is a new experience, I also have to be super, um, super flexible. Like it's all about flexibility, adaptability. And um, so I've been trying to just put my brain in the right headspace where, um, where I know what I need to do, but I also know that I have to be 
just malleable, you know, depending on on what the vibe is and how the group is is functioning. Um, I think it's one of those. I think it it it's gonna work best if, you know, if I can be in control of what I'm supposed to do, but also I have to be able to recognize when I have to change things, uh, based on on anything, on any of you know, an you know n number of variables that I don't know or can't control. Uh, so I think I think that's where I'm at. I'm super excited, but I'm. And I'm kind of eager to see what the what the experience is going to feel like. That I think it's super cool. I I, I actually, um, I'm not like a really like adventurous person. I wouldn't really categorize myself as that. But I love to go through experiences. I love to go through things that I I think can make you kind of stronger. And not stronger as in, you know, I don't have to climb like a you know, like a mountain to feel like I conquered something. No, it's more like like human experiences, like seeing yourself go through different to things that are challenging. But challenging again, like real world challenging, I would say. Not not so much like feats of like human um like strength or 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 I don't know, endurance or stuff like that. Um, but I really like I really like to see myself go through those things. I think that I always come out um, stronger when I let myself go through those things. So I'm super eager to see what happens. Um, you know, yes, Daniel Ira. No, no, no. This has nothing to do with what you were saying. No, take us go. Take but, us back to no, uh, but the mummies. Way you were holding the brush. What was I doing? Interesting. Like that? No, because you grab it with two fingers, so you can like gesticulate. Gesticulate. Is it a word? I know it sounds bad. But... Gesticulate yeah, with I your know. hands. Sounds, sounds like something that uh, teenage teenagers shouldn't do. <laughs> How, you what do, did I do? You grab with two fingers because I can't show you like this. That's what I was doing. And you were gesticulating like uh -huh. this. So you were like this. Really? But you had like full control? motion of Dude, gesticulation I, I and also notice. control. Oh wow! I was like, wow, that's See, a great I, technique. No, it's totally. Uh, if if you tell me to do it again, I can't do it. Yeah, because I've never held a brush. I don't think I ever did. With my pinky and my how do you call this finger in English? Uh, ring finger. Ring finger. Yeah, the same here. Say, the same as in Spanish. No, I was gonna say anular. Well, but so, annular. Yeah, but that comes from anillo. I know. So ring. But oh, I yeah. Say Annular? Anular. No, I don't think that. Because we that's... don't say dedo del anillo. We say anular. Yeah, it's kind of nicer, actually. If anular? You think about it. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. very, uh, feels, sounds like an old word. Ibrahim mm. Salah mm -hmm. is saying, Danny, did you see in the news about AI making SpongeBob SquarePants episode? <gasps> no, but that's going to be cool. Uh, is it gonna be like it's gonna what be is it? written? There's by a bunch AI? of yeah. There's a bunch of of uh, I know um, South Park did like a Chat GPT uh, uh, episode, or I think I heard that. Well, we had. I have to look for that. I we, think I heard that they they wrote one with that. We even had a friend that did a text for an art show. Oh, with or, that. yeah, or we have. Uh, a son who does a lot of uh, well i don't have a son you yeah. have a son. we know of a son uh, we know of somebody's son that does a lot of homework oh, with, really? oh we we are uh yeah that is the world that we live in wow. right now wow 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 yeah but that's cool ibrahim i'm gonna look into it and i'm so happy that uh you see something every SpongeBob time anything related. spongebob yeah, yeah please I'm gonna be super excited if anyone sends. But that's I don't know. SpongeBob I mean, for me. not knowing what they're saying, I don't know if SpongeBob is that type of. Well, maybe like a moment in like a weird kind of you know dreamlike. But or, it would be interesting uh, to like input a lot of the scripts that have been like episodes, previous episodes. Yeah, and it and can see learn from what it. happened. Yeah, because yeah. it's. It doesn't have to be crazy all the time because as you were saying, it learns from what it gets. Yeah, who knows? Who kn I don't know if yeah. it's visually, like you were saying, I don't know if it's a script or I don't know if it's anything, if it's something visual. Interesting. I I'm gonna it, yeah, let's let's 
say it, let's uh, define it as interesting because maybe some people um, think uh, saying Did AI they're... triggers a lot of people mm -hmm. uh, in a bad way. So, um, Jeff Akoff. Yeah, Jeff. Dice, hola, Ani, Nico, Chile, and chat desde Holanda. Ah, Muchas, mucho muchos Holanda. saludos desde Holanda. Sí, esto, ya me aburrí. Me muchos aburrí, Jeff. Muchos saludos desde Holanda, Jeff. ¿Qué está pasando, don Jeff? Yo creo que aquí en Colombia le han dicho don Jeff. ¿Don Jeff? ¿Cómo sí. le decían acá a Jeff? ¿Chocolatina Jeff? No, mi amor. No. Eh, Chris Creative. Ya. Yeah. Who's saying, um, I tune in to see a dog painting in a happy face. Dude, I thanks. feel robbed. <laughs> well, you Thank can you. see a dog sleeping. Yeah. Comfortably. Or a dog I mean, painting. Chili, Chili did the... Um, yeah, the drawing, drawing. underdrawing. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, Credit to the, where credits do. You have the hap the, like the happy... It's a okay, like The easy part. I mean, thank you for putting down all of us painters. It's, it's like, you know, the easy part of uh, making a picture. No. Tough no, part no, no. being the drawing. So thank you for no. that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Chili, Chili deserves the credit. Uh, and I was going to say the, credit. The, the complicated part because she had the idea... Yeah. She, I was going to say she took the photo. Yeah, she terrible. Didn't. And I had to recompose it. I think but. she wasn't alive when that photo <laughs> happened. Yeah, she was uh, stardust. Oh, no, she she was. was alive. Yeah, she yeah, was. Yeah, but she was here while we were there. She was. She was a baby. Yeah. A she baby was a uh, quillera. Quillera. At, well, that, she at is. that moment. She is a quillera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, Irving Torres Art mm -hmm. dice, hola, it's been a while, saludos. It's been a while. Mucho tiempo, long time no see, Irving. Uh, what's happening? Is that a saying? Uh, what's happening? What's, what's popping? What's oh, popping? wow. No? Different decades want those yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've heard what's cracking, which is okay. what's popping. Oh, no. What's... It sounds weird now that I think about it. What's cracking? What's popping? Cracking and popping. I mean, I guess things happening. What's... You know, I don't know. how. I, I wonder how, like, a, you know, very urban, in tune person says... What's up? What's up? I think what's up has been, you know, it has lived through many decades. And in Spanish, what would you say? Yo. ¿Qué dice? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué dice que cuenta? If Kakaito is here, uh -huh. she knows that at least my mom, every yeah. time she picks up the phone and it's one of her sisters. ¿Qué dice? It's, ¿Qué que más? Ah, ¿qué que más? ¿Qué I don't... Que más? But that, it, that's like the code word for hello yeah. between the sisters. Okay. Because if she picks up the phone and it's someone else, she does not say that. Oh, like, nice. Ah, ¿qué que más? ¿Qué que más? ¿Qué cuenta? No. ¿Qué se que dice? Más? Solo ¿qué, ¿Qué cuenta? Más? Uh, no, I say, ¿Qué uh, tica? ¿Cómo le va? ¿Cómo le baila? ¿Cómo le baila? ¿Cómo le va? Mucho, yo digo, ¿cómo le va? Yo digo, hola. Olguis. Hola. ¿Cómo le va la Olguis? Hola. ¿Cómo le va la Olguis? No, Así no le digo a mi mamá. No, no sé. Hola, mil. No, hola, mil Olis. ¿Cómo hola, estás? Ma. ¿Cómo estás? Pero pues eso no es un dicho, eso es preguntar cómo. Ah, no, pero son maneras de... No, sí. no estábamos eh, buscando expresiones. Sino pero maneras. es que mi mamá tiene ese equivoque más. Mi abuelita Aura decía, a ver... Uf, pero a ver, es una experiencia. A ver... Diga. No, porque así diga, se saludaba, así se saludaba. Por eso es como allá, diga. A ver... Diga. A ver... Sí, eh, pero a ver, es como no me quite más tiempo no, porque a lo que vinimos. Contestas, a ver... A lo que vinimos, ¿qué quiere? Y mi papá empezaba, a, eh, hola Gracias. viejita, ¿cómo andas? ¿Qué a ver, estás? a ver. Eh, sí, sí, pero el de mi mamá, ¿qué hubo qué más? Ahorita le hacemos una nota de voz a mi hermana cuando terminemos y le voy a decir, ¿cómo saluda a mi mamá mm. las hermanas? Mis hermanas, decir, ¿qué más? mis hermanas todas dicen una A larguísima, cuando, si contestan un teléfono. Aló. 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 No, yo no digo aló. Aló. Buenas. Aló. Sí, buenos días. Aló. Sí, buenos días. <risa> eh, Julia dice Nico, usted al 90% de la población. Sí. 99, diría yo. A Dani a mí me la al comencé a usted al comienzo. Nos usteábamos, sí. Sí. Pues era más como señal de respeto, siento. 
ya no me respeta. Ne, para nada. <risa> <risa> eh, a ver, ¿dónde estábamos? Sí, duramos... Eh... Tú siempre dices más de lo que era. Dur Como tres meses justeándonos. Yo creo que... Yo creo que por ahí. Por eso. Sí. Incluso sé que fue... Me acuerdo una vez que lo tú que dijiste... lo, y Lo que lo cambió, pero eso no lo discutimos acá. Lo discutimos, es que ahorita tú no, y yo, yo hacemos memoria. Ah, bueno, bueno. Pero eh, yo me acuerdo... Uh -huh. No, mentiras, creo que ya... O sea, pensé que me acordaba por qué era, pero ahora creo que sí me acuerdo por qué fue. <risa> <risa> o sea, tú... <risa> creo que me acordaba, pero, pero ahora no estoy 100% esto. seguro. No, 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 porque no, yo creí sí que sé. era algo... No, y yo después sé. dije, ah, no, no fue por eso, fue por esta otra cosa no, yo, que yo pasó. No, yo 100% sé. Esto que pasó. Sí, yo sé. Sí, yo también. Mm. Eh, mm. Se me olvidó que iba a decir ya. Sí, pues. Eh, no sé, ¿qué estábamos diciendo? No sé, usted mire a ver qué. Jeff Acob dice Latin America Time. Y Jeff dice, estaba en Madrid este fin de semana. Ah, ah pero no, pues. Sí, ha viajado. Pero el saludo es lo que nos importa. Que Jeff mm. diga, hoy desde Madrid. Sí. ¿Te imaginas que todo fuera mentira? Pues es que, que Jeff yo... siempre esté en la casa, sería lo máximo. Y que Jeff como, esté... No, tú somos... Hoy desde La Habana. Sí. Y uno, uy, Jeff. Nos metimos manuchados los dos. ¿Y el ahí... es que estamos? ¿Por qué? ¿Tú qué más dijiste? La Habana, Cuba. No, hoy de... Es, es que de... me... 11 de la noche en La Habana. Sí, pero es yo... Pensé que lo había dicho yo como con ese tono y tú seguiste. No, mi amor. Bueno, bueno. Además, yo dije La Habana primero. Pues no, yo sé, pero el mío pensé que era un poco de eso. No. Eh... Hágale, pues. <risa> A ver. Shut up and A ver. And manage your vocals, lady. Eh... Javi, Jav. Uy, Javi. Saying, Javi. Hello, OPL and chat. Really like this composition. Hey, Javi. How Thank are you. you? We'll have time to ruin it. Jeff Acuff was saying, you're one of the best conversationalists. Oh. Conversationalists? I don't know how to say that. Conversationalists. Conversationalists. Uh -huh. Nico. And uh, Danny. Your chat with John Dalton. Oh. Flowed. 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 <laughs> flowered. Uh, flowed for hours and was so entertaining and easy to listen to. Oh, let's hope we can invoke Invoke some of that for um for Menorca. I have to say that one of the things that I really liked about you at the liked? beginning. No, I really liked oh, it. Oh wow! I we mean, are like we, no when we started. Usted. No, when we started dating. Yeah. I really liked that you can you could keep a conversation going with me. Yeah. Like, nonstop. Nonstop. Yes. And we could be joking like lame jokes because it can be a conversation about nothing. Nothing. Or I mean, like something super important. Yeah. But it would always flow. Yes. And Never, it would go um, from lame to important to hyper lame uh -huh. to super important. And yeah, that's our, uh, it was always like smooth. And and I've always liked a lot that about our relationship. I like that too. I like it too. I I don't... I The thing is, I don't... For, for me, uh, like when people get uncomfortable because there's uh, an awkward silence, no, I, I never get it. weirded out by no, silence, I don't first of all. No. Like I never, if people are silent, I'm like, yeah, people well, just don't want to. You know, the only time, because I agree with you, but the only time I don't like a silent mm -hmm. is when it's intentional, like when it's used as an answer to something. Okay. Like if I'm asking you something oh, and you know that I'm asking something and you decide not to answer. Oh, but that's like, yeah. That's I mean, the only time that I don't like a silence. That yeah. I feel in uncomfortable with a silence because I feel like it's intended to like, just be mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that, I, uh, I would think that that's different. Yeah, but it's the only time. Just, but, uh, but I don't... I would say that that's being rude. Yeah. But um, but in that sense, I don't know if in our just regular life we have, you know, moments that we just feel uncomfortable with that, like no. that. Never, I don't think I've ever felt that with you. And it's not like we have to be talking all the time. Like we could be. Oh silent, yeah, no, no. Like next to each other, and it's always fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's very enjoyable to be silent with you. 
<laughs> it's very enjoyable when you don't talk. No. No, because I was saying that I love when you talk, so. Uh, Darian Gallardo. Dice, hola a todo OPL. Dallardo. Hola, Darian. ¿Qué más? Jeff Acuff was saying, it's a, it's a great way to be human. Being present and take being present and taking in the experience no matter how challenging it is, a bit of a Buddhist mindset. When you were talking about the experiences while mm. doing workshops, I think. Yeah. Like when you prepare for for it. Uh Sergi Arts dice Hola, ¿cómo están? Sergi. Hola Sergi, ¿qué dice Sergi? Sergi, ¿qué va a comer? ¿Qué comió Sergi? A esta hora Sergi ya o ya se hizo su... No me acuerdo qué es lo que se hace, Sergi. Una, una tortilla, una frijolada, un... ¿Frijolada? No sé, no sé. Te fuiste de... No sé, de pronto ya ahora... España Tiene a... una pareja colombiana. O... Eh, pero Ser... Sergi por estos, por estos momentos está, está que se come algo. Voy a cenar pizza. Uy, Uy, lo Sergi mejor, grande. nosotros comimos ayer pizza. Qué, Almorzamos. Qué grande, Sergi. ¿Cómo se dice almorzar? ¿Cómo Cen es que... Cenar. No, ce cena es. Por la tarde, por la noche. Entonces, merienda. No, merendar. Merienda. ¿Se puede decir almuerzo? ¿Almuerzo? En España sí. Pero creo que no lo usan mucho, almuerzo. Creo que sí, mi amor. Sí. <risa> Yo creo que es no una sé. palabra normal decir almuerzo, <risa> mi amor. De pronto, Sergi, me corrige si no. Yo he oído. Eh, merienda, pero eso es como once, ¿no? Un, sí, una merienda la once, nuez. La, una merienda las medias es, nuez. Sí, es un cumis. Lo que pasa es que acá en Colombia... Oh, ah, okay. Como niños. Acá en Colombia hay muchos eh, distintos nombres para las distintas once, dependiendo la mm. hora. Mm -hmm. Las medias nueve o media mañana. Nadie. Las, como así, la media mañana. Sí, eso es en Sevilla Valle. Las, eh, las once uh -huh. y... Súper, mi amor. Estuvo <risa> perfecto. El resto. ¿Tú sabes de dónde viene once? Eh, ya te he contado. Alguna vez me dijiste, pero no, no lo grabé. Discúlpame en, en mi... ¿No? Empieza a contarme a ver si me acuerdo. Porque yo siempre te, te presto atención. Te pues, paro bolas. ¿qué, ¿Qué más significa once? Eh, una hora antes de las doce. No, pero ¿qué es 11? Un número. Ajá. Ajá. Tiene que ver con eso, con que son 11 algo. 11 11 panecillos. No, once... era el código, como era, era como el código Ajá. Pues, en el que se decían que iban a tomar aguardiente. Ah. Son las 11 letras que tiene aguardiente, pero como no podían tomar, decían, vamos. Oye, ¿Y tú estás 100% segura esto de esto? Lo aprendí en historia del arte. Pero... Con Tatiana Ropaín sí. y yo le creo a Tatiana Ropaín. No, sí, sí, sí. La chica, y sería un dato que... La chica la ahorita ya no fui yo. Sí. Es un dato que suena... Suena chévere. No, y es que además yo no sí, sé... Sí, fue con qué... Tatiana Ropaín, ahora estoy dudando. Yo no sé qué otras que... personas dirían, dicen en Latinoamérica, once. No. Creo que nadie. A ver si lo encuentro. ¿Y tan temprano bebían aguardiente? El origen del término tomar once proviene sí. de los cachacos de antaño que lo usaban para reunirse a tomar aguardiente, refiriéndose a las once letras de esta palabra. Ah, vea pues, entonces sí. Uh -huh. Ah, pero y es solo de nuestra, de esta región, mm. la región cachaca. Además me encanta, cachacos de antaño. Uh -huh. Eh... Yo creo que si le digo eso a mi mamá, deja de decir. Sí, mira, según algunos historiadores, el término surge en la época colonial. Según en algunos el, historiadores. En el momento que las familias sonando... se reunían a beber aguardiente, en un horario estimado entre las 5 y las 7 de la tarde, con el tiempo el término pasó a llamarse tomar once, en relación a una derivación de las once letras que posee el término aguardiente. Yo bueno. no... No miento, yo vengo acá con los datos, Nicolás. No, grande. Mm, a ver. 
Cody Winicky was saying her name is I don't know how to uh her her Well do your best and, and we apologize if we always <laughs> apologize <laughs> if uh, pronounce. pronounce pronounce yeah. Yeah. We always um, do our best and, and if we get it wrong then we apologize. Whiny? Okay. W Y N N E. So I would say Winnie. We maybe. Yeah, because being whiny is uh What's that? It's just like complaining about little things. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. So No, Winnie. no. I'm sure she's not whiny. Winnie. Yeah, Winnie? Her name is Winnie. Yeah. She's very excited <laughs> but nervous to be getting out of her comfort zone. Oh, that's so I good. think it's going to be an amazing experience for her and everyone involved. That is so cool. And who's she um who was she taking? Oh, It's pronounced win. Oh, okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Win? Yeah, W-I-N. Oh, wow. How does it end? ¿Cómo así? ¿Escrito? Yeah. W-W-J-N-N-E. Oh. oh. Oh, okay. I thought it was I-E at the end. No. I, I had misunderstood I, you. I spelled it for you, so please. Pay attention. Pay attention. <laughs> yeah, win. Okay, awesome. I'll I'll keep an eye out. Uh, for her and uh, introduce myself for sure. I want to know, Cody, is it uh, her first workshop? Because maybe it is. Oh, that'd be super that'd cool. That'd be super cool. Yeah. And I would understand a lot if they were super excited but nervous. Oh, it's like, this one is oh the first God. workshop? Yeah. I decided to do it. But but it's the first time, so it's super scary. Eesh. And I, like, yeah. you really don't really know what to expect even if you've been to like art school yeah because it's super different very to go to a workshop than art school and just the intensity of it it yeah. just feels this one just feels very different very very different than other workshops Camille O'Gorman uy Camille uh, uh, uh. yo pensé que se le había perdido la clave del internet mm. <laughs> Dice, hola chicos, tanto tiempo, mucho tiempo, tanto. Camil, mucho tiempo que no nos acompaña. ¿Cómo está Camila? ¿Qué, ¿Qué ha hecho Camila? Unas pinturas muy bonitas, como siempre he visto por ahí. Bueno, sí, entonces no se le perdió la clave del internet, sino del YouTube, digamos. Eh, o no ya no le importamos. Acompaña. No le importamos, debe ser eso. El otro día la vi, creo que escribió... ¿Qué le importamos un culo? Que se me hizo como grosero para Camila, pero yo dije, bueno, pues no sé en qué momento está. Pero bonito verlo de vuelta porque aquí... Eh, ¿Verlo de vuelta? Verla de vuelta porque aquí, aquí aceptamos a todo el mundo de vuelta. No, no importa lo que pase. ¿Cómo está Camila? ¿Qué cuenta Camila? Eh, Sofía Villanueva. Manda Ajá. una carita feliz y unas manos saludando. Hola, Sofía, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está, Sofía? HCK was saying, hey, guys, your channel has helped me through my last painting crisis. Oh, that's so nice. That's super cool to know. Thank how you. are you, HCK? And how are you doing with are, painting? Yeah, are we now? out of the crisis or, uh, crisis or um, still in it? Or it just uh, opened up the door for uh, a new crisis. Mm. Ibrahim Salah was saying, Danny, for fair warning, okay. it become disturbing. Okay. I don't think you What? like it, but you will like AI genera generated SpongeBob Call of Duty images. <laughs> but I want to know, What? Ibrahim. So this is, is not the, official, I feel. That's, that's yeah. what I was going to ask. Cause I thought this it is was, not Nickelodeon, I feel. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like a new episode that they were going to release. Yeah. But not like a third party. Can you say that? Like um, a third party. I mean, you could. Like an independent, I would say. Third party mm. makes it sound still official. You know, somewhat official. Fourth party? No, 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 so, no. No, I would just say like... It was a joke, Nicolas. Oh, okay. Why, sorry. Why aren't you getting my joke? Oh, sorry. Camila so O'Gorman dice, sí, cómo no me van a importar. Los extrañaba, pero estoy muy desorganizada con mis horarios que estoy nadando de nuevo y se me alteró la rutina. Ay, pero qué rico, Camila. Bueno, sí, pero no nos grite, Camila. Le, <ríe> le pido el favor. Qué rico. Y está 
Camila nadando, bueno, no, yo ya iba a empezar a preguntar, no sé. Pero, pues, ¿Como que... entrenando quería preguntar? Yo creo. ¿Como pues... entrenando o como Uy, pero es que, no. que yo no, no sé si entrenar. No sé si entrenar. Pero, ¿Cuánto pero no sé si me entiendes. O sea, si digamos... Es que entrenar es muy distinto. Hay en el conjunto que uno vive una piscina, Ajá. uno puede nadar como... Sí, 1500. Ay, vamos con Samu y Fer y juguemos a no, la es papa jugar. caliente. No, sí, eso, eso. No es, eso no es nadar. O ay, vamos... Eso nos... es meterse a la piscina. Por eso, por eso. O no, vamos a nadar juiciosos. O Gohman, nada. Mm... ¿Cuánto nada, Camila? Respuesta, nada. No, sí. Hay Gracias. Mm, Julia Tovar dice, I do have that problem of getting uncomfortable with silence because my mother talks 24-7. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, yeah. I kind of had it too because yeah. in my house they were talking all the time. But... Is that a bad thing? I don't know if that... No, 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 no. Like I felt uncomfortable... Oh, with, with the them. silence. Yeah, but with them when they were silent. But then oh. I grew up and I... Like, I enjoyed that silence. So it was kind of weird trying to, like, I don't know, like, ask for that silence, but not trying to be, like, rude. Mm. But sometimes, like, you just, I don't know, sometimes I enjoy that silence. Yeah. So. You've seen my house. There's not no a good chance that there's silence. No, but I used to go to my room a lot. And I mm. remember that. At the beginning, it was hard for my mom. Yeah. Because she thought that that meant that I... Not that I wanted to be with myself, but I wanted not to be to with To avoid her. them, yeah. Yeah. So I had to explain her that... That you I were. just, like, needed... <laughs> no. So, yeah, no. I, I do hate you. That I just needed time to, like, recharge myself. Yeah. Like, to be with myself. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I think you would understand that 100% because I do feel that you're the type of personality that really, really needs to recharge um, time being alone. Yeah, yeah. Recharge time being alone. No, I got you, but I, I, I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. No, no. Okay. Uh, Jeff Aikoff dice, estaba pintando el fuente de las cuatro estaciones mm. en el Paseo del Prado y me robaron el celular. No, Jeff. Ojitos yeah. mirando hacia arriba. Afortunadamente, fue viejo y pude reemplazarlo hoy y la pintura todavía fue relajante. Todo bien. Bueno, no, pero... No, pero terrible. Jeff, ladrones hay por todo lado, toca... Ay, y Jeff pregunta. Yo acá súper... Zapa. Canzona, pero... Uh -huh. ¿Dónde dejó el celular, Jeff, mientras...? Pintaba, que eso sí da mucha rabia porque igual uno sí, debería poder ayer. dejar el celular donde quiera. donde quiera. No, 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 pero digo que igual a uno lo que más le da rabia cuando le roban el celular es uno decir, ah, pues madre, me despiste un segundo y lo dejé como fuera de mi vista. Mm. Y terrible. Pero bueno, qué bueno que lo pudo recuperar Jeff y que la pintura fue relajante. Porque sí, porque qué más. Pues no hay más que hacer. No. Sergi Arts dice, usamos tanto merendar como almorzar, aunque merendar es más para la tarde, almorzar, almorzar se almuerza por la mañana, antes de la comida. ¿Qué? ¿O sí, sea, sí. el desayuno es almorzar? No, 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 por la mañana, mediodía, pues. Pero el mediodía es tarde. No, es que en España es otro... Es, es, hay... ¿Hasta dónde va la mañana, Sergi, en España? Porque yo, he dicho, es yo he dicho buenas noches... Hasta luego, buenas noches, como en España a las 8 y me miran como loco. Es que yo me acuerdo nosotros cuando estábamos en Menorca el año pasado, que estábamos hablando con eh, nuestras dos amigas de Madrid. Ajá. Y ellas decían, no, yo ceno a la una de la mañana. Y yo era, ¿qué? Y eran, sí, no, me acuesto por ahí a las tres. Y yo era, ¿qué? No, pues yo les decía que nosotros... Tú te Creo que no era tan extremo, pero no, sí. Sí es así, porque ellos decían que ellas normalmente comían muy tarde. Pero pues es que para mí comer tarde es decir, comía a las 10. Y 10 es comer sí, temprano cuidado. en España. Sí, sí, no, no, no. Mm. Sergi dice, hasta las 12, 13 pm. O sea, sí, como acá. Lo que pasa es que acá 12.01 ya es tarde. Tardes. ¿No? Ah, sí. Tú eres buenos días. Buenas hasta tardes. las 12. 
Luego uno, 12. Uno pide disculpas uno, si es... Buenos días. Ay, buenas tardes. Ya son tardes. Si es las 12.01. Si es 12.01 es... Ay, qué pena. No, tiene razón. Tardes ya. Ay, o uno no dice buenos días y lo, y lo corrigen a uno. Como buenas sí. tardes. Me sí, hace el favor. Sí. Y dice, el orden del día es algo como desayuno, almuerzo, comida, merienda y cena. Uy. Ah, no. Le metió una Me más que nosotros, sí. Y la cena más o menos Invite. a qué hora se de Sergi. Perdón. Tanta preguntadera. Mm. Pues piensa que está a siete horas de nosotros y se va a comer una pizza. Uy, sí. Uh -huh. Bueno, pero igual la pizza. Ah, no, cualquier no hora. Tiene horario. Cualquier hora. A mí que me despierten en siete horas con una pizza y un pitillo. A ver. ¿Qué? Era como, no sé. No entendí nada. De lo sí, que dije. Para, para chuparme la pizza, pero eso suena raro. ¿Qué bueno. es lo que me hiciste? ¿A dónde me hiciste llegar? No, pues tú mismo dijiste, o sea, yo solamente te hice caer en la cuenta de lo que estabas diciendo. Cody was saying, I think she has taken some small local workshops, but never anything to this extent. Uf. Oh, very cool. Uf. Mm. Uf. Camille O'Gorman dice, mm. no, no entreno, nado sola. Tres veces por semana, tres mil metros. Oh, muy bien. ¿Tres mm. mil metros cada vez? Muy bien. Sí, eso suena. Sí, es súper bien. Creo que yo no he nadado tres mil metros, pero... Mm, no. Ni cuando... Mm -mm. No. No, para. Sí. sí. No, tres mil es bien. Sí, es harto. No, mentiras, yo he... no... No, mi amor, no creo. No, ¿tres mil metros derecho? Toca o sea, saber mil... nadar para nadar tres mil metros. Ay, pues yo sé nadar, lo que pasa es que No, pero es que toca yo... saber O sea, cómo... tú, es que tú, es... tú entrenaste, tú estabas en competencias de natación, pero yo sé nadar, mi amor, yo hice todos los cursos, yo llegué a mariposa. Pero... Pero no hice mariposa. Pero es que tres mil... Porque entré a bolos. Pero es que tres mil son tres mil metros. No, eso es bastante. Es duro, sí. Y Camil era nadadora antes... Y dice cada vez, sí, sí, ¿no? Entonces... Nadar tres, sí, sí. Camila, o sea, uno entrenando. Camila dice que no, nadamos, no entreno, para mí eso es sí, tremendo. Nosotros nadamos seis mil, o si era como full entrenamiento, siete mil de pronto. Por eso, pero esto era full entrenamiento. Sí, eran eso. dos horas de o sea, full entrenamiento. Tres mil metros nadar, uno... Es duro. Es yo arco. cuando volví, que volví a nadar, yo no sé si nada tres mil, o sea... No, buenísimo. Sí, no, porque además cuando yo volví a nadar, es que nadar, si uno vuelve a nadar, nadar 400 metros seguidos es, es como, o sea, uno se muere. Difícil, sí. Sí, uno sí. se muere. Sí, uno está sí. ahí rangueando. Mm. A ver. Mm. So HCK was saying, mm -hmm. I'm good. I think I'm out of the crisis and much excited. I am still exploring the best way of painting for me. So there is a long way to go, but I love it. Much love for both of you. Oh, that's, that's so good. nice. That's good. Good to know. Yeah, it's very good to know that you're in a much better... Space. Space. Headspace. Yeah. Mm, Sergi Arts dice, Uf, esas arrugas de la ropa ya se están viendo tremendas. Y unos emojis. Tan amables siempre, Sergi. Saltones. Sergi siempre es muy amable. Ser, Sergi y Garian, Garian Dallardo, siempre, siempre amables. Irvin Torres dice... Les Irvin he... nunca. <risa> Les he extrañado. He estado ocupado dando el taller de arte y trabajando en mejorar mi propio trabajo. He estado dan... trabajando con las láminas de... ¿Cómo Barg? se dice? Barg. Uh -huh. Que yo te dije que yo siempre dije Barg. Barge, tú le metías como, como Barge no, Simpson. Como Barg, Barg, si le dices Barg, creo que estás perfecta. Entonces yo te dije una vez láminas de Barg, ¿y tú qué? Bueno, Barg. Mm, sí, pues. Y he aprendido mucho. ¿Qué consejos dan para mejorar? Nosotros. Pero es que mejorar no sé qué quiere decir. O sea, no estoy tratando de ser como, como listo con la, como listo con la respuesta. No sé, mi amor, no te, te me perdiste. Sí. No, no, no. O sea, no estoy tratando de evadir la respuesta y dar como un, un, una, una respuesta ahí tontita. No, es que de verdad no... Cuando alguien dice quiero mejorar, yo tendría que sentarme a hablar con la persona a ver qué, 
¿En qué aspecto? Sí, ¿qué significa para tú? ellos? Me, o sea, ¿por qué sienten que están mal? ¿O por qué sienten que están en un nivel que es inferior al que quisieran estar? Que bueno, eso es todos nosotros, yo creo. Pero, ¿y, y hacia dónde quiere dirigirse? O sea, ¿qué es lo que el, lo insatisface de su obra que siente que debe mejorar? Pero, pero preguntaría eso antes de decir cualquier cosa, porque... O si no, lo que se diga pues puede sonar como, no sé, como genérico, caprichoso, no sé. Camila Ogorman dice, siempre nadé pero nunca competí. Muy bien, Ogorman. Mm, Sergi Arts dice, ay, hoy fui a ver una exposición de Sorolla aquí en Valencia y bueno, qué decir. Uf. Impresionante como siempre, hay tanto que aprender de él aún. Siempre. Y quedan, Sergi dice... Nos quedan vidas para poder eh, entender lo que él hacía. Dice, pues sobre las 9.10, aunque uh -huh. hoy estoy cenando tarde, jaja. Imagínate, el horario normal para comer, bueno, cenar, como le dicen, uh -huh. es 9 o 10. A esa hora tú y yo estamos roncando. No, a esa hora... Si, Hace yo, dos si horas. yo ceno a esa hora, bienvenida a gastritis. O sea... Y pesadillas. No, todo. Y Sergi dice, Nico, Sergi. ¿cómo consigues mantener los pinceles en un estado decente teniendo ese mm. tipo de pincelada cuando rellenas los espacios? Comprando. A mí me toca comprar nuevos cada uno o dos meses. Comprando más, Sergi, mire, este este ya está todo cascadito. No, Sergi, y es que lo que pasa es que estos son muy económicos. O sea, esto vale como a, a euros... Esto de costar como 40 centavos de euro, 50 centavos de euro, un pincel. Lo, es triste uno decir, pues entonces compro muchos, porque hay gente que dice, no, eso es como generar, no sé, residuos. O, o sea, eso es como una exageración. Ex, ex, exageración. Es un grosero, mi amor. No, que eso es como una exageración en, te, en, en cuanto a los desechos que uno puede producir. De pronto lo más consciente sería tener pocos pinceles y usarlos muy bien, pero también diría yo que eso es condicionante porque yo, o sea, uno para ser como expresivo cuando pinta, pues de pronto el pincel se pone en riesgo. Entonces yo diría, ¿y por qué voy a tener que cambiar mi manera natural de enfrentarme a la pintura por tratar de mantener la vida de un pincel? Entonces es difícil. Esa parte yo diría que es como un poquito curiosa, pero no, yo pues... No, la verdad, Sergi, yo compro muy económicos y les doy, les, de, como decimos acá, les doy mucho palo. Materile, iba a decir. Yo. Les doy mucho palo. Les doy materile. Materile. Sí, Video. les doy duro. Y ya, y pues consigo más cuando pueda. Pero así cuando están feitos, que este ya está como, ya perdió su forma. No sé si se alcanza. ¿Sí se alcanza a ver, linda? No, no sé, porque lo estás inclinando así. No, no sé, para ver este lado, para ver sí, esta, sí. Fa, esta cara. No, sí se veía. Es ¿Sí? que mira dónde tienes la cámara. No, es que no veo nada. No, ¿Y ahí? mi amor, mira arriba dónde tienes la cámara. No sé, ¿qué hago entonces? O sea, bájalo un poquito. Pero, pero es, quiero es que se vea este pedazo. Entonces. ¿Ahí? Bájalo. O sea. Es si lo bajo. No, baja el, toda la mano. ¿Y cómo hago? Pues ahí cómo ahí. se enfoca. Ahí no está enfocado. Ahí se ve, se ¿Sí? ve súper despeinado, sí. O sea, ah. se ve blurreadito, pero súper mordisqueado. Ah, es que pensé que, que no daba el foco para eso, pero... <risa> O sea, no está dando. ¡Qué foco! No está dando, pero en lo blurreado sí. se ve. Eh, Sergi Arts dice, sí que se ve, sí, jajaja. Ja, ja. Y Camila dice, se ve, jajaja. Ja, ja. Sí se ve entonces. Carlos Insignares dice, tremendo monstruo, Sorolla. Monstruo. Julia Tovar dice, cuando fui a España sentía que me miraban raro porque yo doy gracias como 20 veces en cualquier interacción. Mm de tiendas o restaurantes y él me regalas un sí, lo que terrible. sea también y Yo es le que hay una historia de mi tía cuando mi tía se fue a vivir a España mi tía vive en Barcelona hace no sé 20 años y cuando mi tía fue eh, creo que fue como el primer mes que estaba allá y se iba a comprar unas botas y se estaba midiendo y eh, le dijo a la señora ay no me gustaron las cafés pero me las regalas por favor en como en 36, 37. Y la señora le dijo, se para y se va ya de acá, esta tienda no regala nada. 
y pues mi tía tuvo que explicarles, pero pues mi tía dijo pues que al final no las terminó comprando porque se las regalaron. Pues sintió que fueron súper groseros, pero o sea, ellos creyeron que ella estaba pidiendo regaladas las botas mm. y no era así, pero mm. sí. Sí, y uno dice gracias todo el tiempo y perdón todo el sí, tiempo. Uno discúlpeme. Es como, ay, perdón. Ay, qué pena. Sí. Sí. Como agachados. Esa es nuestra... No, pero a mí no me... Nuestro estado natural. O sea, si a mí alguien me dice, ay, disculpa, es como tiene conciencia de mi tiempo uh -huh. y como me pide antes, o sea, me pide disculpas por quitarme de mi tiempo para responderle algo. Como que no, no lo veo como nada malo, no sé. Julia dice muchas disculpas. ¿Sí? Sí, ella es... Eh... ¿Mucho perdón? Sí, pero pues eso es... Yo no le veo nada de malo a eso. Julia es muy buena gente. Mm... A ver. Muy decente. ¿Y qué ibas a decir tú cuando yo interrumpí diciéndolo de mi tía? Que tú no eres tan decente como ella. <risa> eh... Jorge H... Guatibonza, uh -huh. dice, soy estudiante de artes en Tunja, Boyacá, y tus videos me han inspirado mucho. Ah, muy amable. Saludos hasta Tunja, Jorge. Claro. Pues Un no abrazo. estamos tan lejos, pero... No, pero pues yo, igual a todo el mundo le mando saludos hasta... Sí. No, es acá nomás. Aquí cerca. Aquí cerquita. ¿Y cómo le ha ido estudiando en Tunja, don Jorge? Jorge. Eh, Ibrahim Salah was saying no, no, the no. AI made, no. made uh -huh. PG-13 Spongebob episode, something I thought you would be against is PG-13 uh, así se llamará no mi amor PG-13 no porque ese es, una, ese es un, un rating de edad, eh, eso es como decir eh, para menores, eh, para mayores de 13, perdón y eso qué significa que ¿Qué Nada. tiene? ¿Qué tipo de violencia tiene? ¿O qué tiene? No, que hay veces dicen malas palabras o algún tipo, hasta un tipo de violencia. O... And it was, Ibrahim was saying something I thought you would be against. No, I think it's interesting to see what people do. I mean, I feel like it's like when people do Spongebob fan art. Like there's things that I would like and there's things that I don't. Déjame buscar así súper rápido porque es que, que de pronto busque... no estoy entendiendo. Let me, we're going to check what PG-13 is, because Nicolás hasn't been able to explain. <laughs> what? No. Is, um... Or season 13? No. No. Ibrahim, try to, so let us know. Ah, uh, if Spongebob was rated PG-13 meme, could this be it? No, but that's 2020. What's uh, PG-13? No, it's, it's just saying oh, like rated parents R. parents strongly caution. Yeah, it's rated R, PG-13, PG-7, I think, or everyone, something like that. Pre-teen ages? Uh, so, let me see. But uh, does it... I, I would love it if it, it was... What is it? Is it like with violence or something like that? Because... Okay, let me see. Uh, SpongeBob AI show get canceled four weeks ago. I'm guessing there was like a, a show that was using AI in Twitch. Oh, in Twitch, was it? Oh, AI SpongeBob Twitch stream is like AI Seinfeld. Okay, I saw the AI Seinfeld one. I I saw that. I actually saw that for like, I don't know. I was painting one day. And I put it on, and um, how long? Is it? Oh, it goes it's forever. Forever, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they don't have to write it, so. No, that's that's what I was gonna say. It's kind of scary to think that. Yeah, and it. it I it, mean, it's just like you you do the prompts, and then it just flows. I don't. I wonder what forever. goes. What's in the back? Like how how they're programming it in some way, or how they are. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know exactly how they're doing it. But, um, yeah, but it was just going on by itself. And it was, uh, it was so weird. It was so very strange. But I don't know. I'm not super scared of those things. So I, I think I, I heard it while I was working for like two hours or three hours. 
because I wanted to have like that experience of something that goes on and on and on. Um, and it's very strange. It's super, super strange. I mean, honestly, we're, we're like caught in a like Black Mirror um, episode, I feel, right now. Mm. It's, it's really, it's amazing. I think it's fucking amazing. But anyways, but um, apparently, I, I'm just looking at a title of something, but I'm guessing, Daniel Ira, that they had done kind of like that show on Twitch. They had done a SpongeBob show. Uh, and I'm guessing Nickelodeon is far quicker because Seinfeld is in, in um, syndication. So I don't even know who owns Seinfeld, but um, uh, I guess like Seinfeld owns Seinfeld, but I don't know. Uh, they would have to go, you know, personally and, and try to get that down, which I don't think Seinfeld would do that because that's like, I mean, Seinfeld is like, I think it feeds off of pop, like uh, pop culture. So it, I wouldn't really see why they would attack something like that. But I, I can see Nickelodeon being like super protective of, of their um, IP. Yeah. So, and even more if it's rated like, in a, like if they're doing something that SpongeBob audience like general audience yeah like it doesn't go hand in hand with yeah. what they want the audience to yeah i wonder i, I mean it, it, that's if it's like a violin thing or something yeah you know i i'm i'm reminded of this um and maybe you can you can look for it i don't know if this was when no i don't think i was there when this show happened there was a show that i remember and it was like a pop surrealist show it was like a lowbrow, you know, show, painting show. And it had Batman kissing Robin. It was a painting of Batman and Robin kissing, which is the most, you know, if you just, if you tell me that that's a painting, I would be like, oh, that's probably been painted hundreds of times. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't see anything. I could care less about that painting. In fact, I would probably see it and think it's kind of like dumb or something. I don't know. Like, I would be like, oh, yeah, okay. Batman and Robin kissing. Um, and it was like, I think it was like the old Batman animated show, Batman. And, you know, it, it was that sort of um, imagery. And if I'm not mistaken, they, they, as in DC at that time, so this was, they were probably not owned by Warner uh, at that time. But they, as in DC, they took it down. Mm -hmm. They had... That they had the show, I think it was closed until they took the painting down, or they forced the paint. They they forced the gallery to take the painting down, and it wasn't so much that like Batman and Robin were depicted. It was just that they were saying, I think I'm remembering this correctly. And if anyone wants to Google this and help me out, or you, Daniel Ira, um, but I think they were saying that that just went against what Batman and Robin, you know, like, I don't know, the values, like, whatever that means. Uh, yeah, but I remember that. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember reading this somewhere, you know, th this is probably like 15, 18, 15 years ago or something like that, or maybe, maybe less, like 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Did you did you see the did you find the painting? Well, because I don't know if it's this one. Because there's like yeah, like a hundred. Yeah, I mean yeah. Now there's like tons. It, it, it's, uh, I remember thinking like I really mean, there's yeah everything. I mean it would be it would be the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, but um, uh, Batman and Robin painting kissing uh, gallery clothes or or uh gal. I was putting taken down yeah something like that i'm i'm very sure i i wouldn't have this memory in my brain if it wasn't like there if it wasn't something that happened mm. no 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 yeah i remember at that time but i'm pretty sure i the, 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 i mean this is the sort of stuff that i don't i wouldn't really make up no, out of nowhere. No, I believe you, but... no, 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 because I don't like when I remember something 
and then I just can't find evidence of what I remember. Um, well, maybe someone in the comments yeah, know I'm about sure. it. Yeah, sure. Because it was a time, I remember I was very in tune. I remember... Uh, Mattel did the same thing with Barbie that there was a painting of Barbie doing whatever the hell people you know artists I'm sure artists make Barbie do tons of things that are not very Barbie like in, in terms of like what Mattel would want their you know their IP to be um, and they there was one time where there was a controversy that also revolved around the painting of Barbie and I remember the more well-known one is like a Chris Chris Ophelia painting of um, the Virgin that was made with dung, you know, elephant dung. And they had that show closed because people were protesting in New York, I think it was. So, I mean, I mean, that's religion, which is a whole different issue. Um, you saw, you showed me what um, Fernando posted with... Uh, Oh, yeah. With that student show in um, Mendoza, is it? I think Because he's it from was. Mendoza. Yeah, um, that people just came in. Was it a student show? It was I a student show. It was a, like an um, um, art student show. So so these were probably like 20, 21-year-olds or, or, you know, college students. Um, but, I mean, for me, you know, the the point that, like nothing ever, unless there's something like illegal about what you're doing, like it breaks laws, um, or it's just like ethically completely reprehensible, but that's like a grayer area for art, I feel. But um, but if for me the 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 point is like if something is illegal, like if you're if you're showing imagery of something that is just illegal, that you know, that you could be arrested then you should be arrested. Um, if you are putting anything that's, you know, any life form, any any living thing, if you're putting it to uh, at risk, that is not art. Like, you know, that people, if, if people do stuff with animals or that's not art. That Like if you're harming something that's like a living being, that's not art. That like that to me is just, um, it's just absurd. Like that's where I draw lines. But then there's a point where things are like, come on, like we we as a society can be can be taught like can tolerate these things, and that particular show in Mendoza, I'm I'm, I'm I still say Mendoza, but I I'm pretty sure it was, um, you know there were just like virgins like vaginas in sh in shape of virgins, which, like to be honest, that's everywhere. That is so like a motif. It's almost like a cliche now, I would say. And there's no fault of the people that do that because the the symbol of the Virgin is very, you know, even if we like it or not, it's like the draping, you know. Um, uh, I just, like, I don't get how that can be offensive. I mean, you, you, you don't associate a virgin with a vagina. I mean, yeah, you're right, though. Why, Why would a vagina be offensive? Yeah. Like, that is so crazy. That is so crazy. I mean, Jesus came out of that vagina. So if you, if we have to be, like, super clear about that. So it is so weird. It is so weird. But for that to make people go inside and break and just break art... Because I think that what happened is that they were breaking things and praying. And then praying. They thought they thought it was like devilish in mm -hmm. some way. Yeah. Woof. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. That is, that to me is like, that's crazy that it happens still today. Yeah. Now you don't really think about stuff like that happening today and it still happens. That's, that's insane to me. Um... Prince Barebones was saying around 50, 20 years ago, a local museum near me had an art show where a painting of Jesus was attacked because this woman got so upset at the depiction. Oof. I forget the exact circumstances, but I'm sure it looked up 
Loveland Colorado Museum Vandalism, the story oh, will wow. pop up. So Google it. Yeah. Single acts of like vandalism, I I can understand those because sometimes people are not well and maybe, you know, they just have a condition um, and they just go to a museum and then something triggers them and then that happens. Like that, I can be like, wow. I mean, I don't get it, but I get it. That's like a mental health issue, I feel. But when it's a collective that, I mean, these were like, how many people were there? Dude, like 30, 40 yeah. people? And just it was breaking like, everything and then praying? I mean, gee, whoa, that is just, yeah. I don't know. I don't, at a fine arts faculty. I think it was the gallery of the fine arts faculty. Yeah, and I remember seeing the video. I was like, this lady even looks like my grandma. Like, it's so crazy. Because they went all there, super offended. Yeah. With young artists doing the depiction they wanted. And young artists doing what they're supposed to do. I mean, I, that to just, me is so like, ignorant. Yeah. It's uh, just, come on. Every, I told you, like, when I saw that, I told you, like, oh, in our art faculty, I've seen this so many times. Yeah. And mind you. I mean, we were even talking about how in the art faculty that I studied in. Yeah. We saw it a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was saying. But which, by the way. Uh, it's a Jesuit owned fa uh, like uh, uh, university. university. It's a Jesuit owned university. So, and they were super open to just artists being artists. Cody, super, super oh, open. Sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead, please. Cody Winnie was saying that sounds like Loveland. We have a lot of elderly, more conservative population that don't deal with nudity well which is so strange in a self-described art town. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I was saying it's this one, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Oh, so it's a, a litho. Li litho? Lithography, yeah. yeah but that looks like graphic stuff, like super cool. It, it looks like uh, crumb stuff. Even. It says the title was The Misadventures of the Romantic Cannibals. Okay, that's a cool title. And it says what began as a heated protest oh by the way this is ncac.org uh -huh. and it says what began as a heated protest over enrique chagoya's artwork at the loveland museum in colorado has ended in vandalism mm. she busted the artworks plexiglass case with oh. a crowbar okay that was premeditated that's uh <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's not even close to being not vandalism. Yeah. Because as you were saying, sometimes people react to it, which, by the yeah. way, I don't think it's... Like, it doesn't justify rage, anything. Rage for me is never a way to react. No, no, no. I, like, I, I try to objectively um, think that in some cases or understand that in some cases, this is not something that is like... Um, you know, that is indicative of, of that society. And it's just like an isolated case of a person that has issues. And, you know, that happens. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. Yeah. So, um, let's see. B4, uh, B4 DG was saying, I think it's easy to forget how misogynistic and puritanical we were not too long ago, especially in the contrast to how ancient these religions are. Uh, Jeff dice, Buenas noches, amigos. Casi medianoche. Thank you for another enjoyable evening. Gracias eh, por la compañía, Jeff. Desde el nuevo teléfono. Mm. Cody Winicky dice, but don't judge us by that, Nicolás. <laughs> Prince Barebones and I know very welcoming communities that are ready and excited to have you guys here. For workshop, workshop canceled. <laughs> yeah. Canceled. Uh, so where were we before? Let's see. Uh, 
I like this. Stan was saying the thumbnail for this live is the best yet, guys. I know. Thank you. I know. Everything thanks to uh, Chilita. Chili. Chili Manjaro. Ch yeah, I was going to say Chili Manjaro. HCK was saying, how many brushes do you use while a single session? Oh, it Between could vary. One and one hundred. <laughs> yeah. Say. Yeah. And I think it's like an accurate guess. I'm I I can be so I could be like super focused and use two. Or I could be just an idiot and make a mess of things and use like, you know, fourteen more than I should. Um, fourteen. Add a zero hundred, yeah. Add, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I'm pissed off at myself when I finish the session and I realize that I have to um clean my brushes. And then I look at the pile and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what? That was so unnecessary. Like, and then I look at the painting and I'm like, where? Where did I need like eight of these like flat, medium sized brushes for like this area? Um, yeah. So I try. I mean, I really try to be effective with the use of my brushes, I just don't think I'm particularly good at it. So I'll just, if I have others at hand, I just grab another one. I don't remember what painting it was, but I remember once that you were like, how did I use <laughs> these many brushes? And I was like, no, I'm sure it's fine. And you were washing the brushes for like an hour and no, a half. No, it is, uh, it is so annoying. Day, yeah. I went to that bathroom and I was like, oh my God, yeah, that's like, that is All too the many. brushes. Yeah, yeah, every brush. Yeah, they, yeah. they don't even fit in the sink. Yeah, so. we had to order brushes. Yeah, uh, yeah, We had to order a sink so you could uh, wash them all. Eh, Irvin Torres Art dice, Mejorar en aspectos técnicos como color, valores, dibujo. Mm. Mi meta no es estancarme, pues creo que parte de nuestra humanidad es el superarnos continuamente. No quiero estancarme en mi zona de confort. Mm. Pero bueno, yo creo que Irving, Irving, Irving pinta ya, o sea, yo creo que el, el enfatizar fundamentos eh, es una cosa que Irving puede hacer súper consciente. O sea, no, no creo que necesita, necesite como dirección en cuanto a enfatizar fundamentos de pintura o de dibujo, no creo. Yo no, yo, pues, en, a mi juicio, no creo Irving. Eh, eso lo digo para que no crea que tiene que buscar más allá de lo que puede ser su propia práctica para poder mejorar, porque es que seguramente a otras personas en otros como momentos de aprendizaje, uno sí les dice oiga, le, ben le beneficiaría estudiar con tal persona o, o meterse a un taller de tal cosa, pero yo no creo que Irving necesite de eso es más como, Irving, yo creo que es más como tener un plan de trabajo como disciplinado, eh, estructurado y seguirlo. Y si no quiere mmm, como estancarse en hacer lo mismo, que ese es un riesgo que todos nosotros como que eh, estamos constantemente mmm, a puertas de, de sufrir, eh, yo diría, dije eso mil veces más complicado de lo que sí. quise decirlo, pero yo, yo le diría... Dejo, yo te dejo ir. Sí, no, 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 yo ahí navego. Sí, y se marchó, sí, me sentía sí, ya no. en, el, en la mitad del océano solo, yo, con además, sed, sí. deshidratado, irte, me estaba matando el sol. Cuando dije a portas, ah, no, sentí el sol, se en, sentí el sol matándome. Pero sí. sí, quemando. No, 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 ya, ya no me rescataba nada. <ríe> eh... Pero creo. Que uno ve al final y no, no nada. pero no, no, no. Creo que si, es, si hubiera escrito esa frase, creo que tiene sentido. Pero, o sea, todos estamos eh, en riesgo de caer en, en, en esas trampas, de, de iterar eh, sobre lo que ya sabemos hacer. Uh -huh. Y la manera más fácil de no caer en eso es simplemente no dejarse caer en eso. O sea, esto suena tontísimo, pero, por ejemplo, cuando nosotros empezamos eh, OPL, una de las grandes como bases de lo que tratábamos de hacer era, era como reinventarnos semana tras semana para que no nos pudiéramos aburrir de hacer el trabajo que estamos haciendo, 
porque hubiera sido horroroso si Dani tuviera que editar, digamos, el mismo video 200 veces pues si y el mismo audio 200 idea. veces y ella oyendo eso en acelerado como diciendo, pero esta persona ya habló de esto 15 veces antes como, y ya pintó lo mismo y ya como que dijo lo mismo. Entonces, para que no cayéramos en eso, nos teníamos que obligar a tener unas temáticas, que era una parte pues compleja, pero teníamos que obligarnos a salirnos de nosotros mismos, a salirnos de, de, de lo que nosotros entendíamos como, como nuestro, eh, nuestra zona ahí de confort. Entonces, yo creo que esas son cosas que uno se puede proponer, pero es mucho más fácil si uno las estructura y si uno dice, no, o sea, eh, yo soy pésimo haciendo, por ejemplo, me, me voy a tomar a mí como ejemplo, yo soy pésimo haciendo paisaje urbano. Es, entonces uno puede decir, no, esta, o sea, este mes voy a hacer solo paisaje urbano, solo, y me vas a ver a mierda, pero no importa, qué pena. Pero, pero no importa porque no es, no es de cómo me sepa o de qué tan buenas o malas sean las pinturas, es porque voy a saber que a, al hacer esto, pues voy a estar aprendiendo porque pues trabajar... En últimas, trabajar es, es una oportunidad de aprendizaje constante, pero además voy a estar es inmerso en, en, conscientemente en un espacio que, que no, me, no me pertenece, o sea, no, en donde no se me facilita nada. Entonces, yo creo que uno tiene que buscar esas cosas. Si uno no las busca, ellas no aparecen. O sea, solitas no aparecen. Y yo creo también que en el caso de, de Our Painted Lives, el hecho de como estar, como tener la obligación, pues que obvio no lo pusimos nosotros, pero la obligación de estar haciendo y haciendo, mm. como que tampoco daba pie para que te quedaras y dijeras, no, esta pintura está terrible, voy sí, tocaba a seguir más mm. y voy a seguir frustrado en esta pintura y ah, cuando me doy cuenta llevo un mes y medio en esta pintura que quería sacar en un día, Sino que es como toca seguir, toca seguir y eso también yo creo que a uno le ayuda un montón. Sí. Porque es como pinte, o sea, va a haber unas que le van a encantar, va a haber otras que no le van a fascinar, pero pinte y al final cuando uno mira atrás todo lo que se hizo, pues el aprendizaje es grandísimo. Y el aprendizaje de también como decir, bueno, esta no me gustó tanto por tal cosa o esta le tuve que pelear y sabía que tenía un tiempo reducido entonces la tuve que resolver de esta manera y no de esta otra que de pronto la hubiera resuelto si, si tuviera dos meses para hacer la pintura. Yo creo que todo eso también lo ayuda a uno como a crecer un montón dentro de su práctica. Sí, cierto. Eh... A ver, Jeff Aikoff, antes de que se fuera, no, nos decía... Jeff, ya iba a decir que para qué volvió. No. Decía, estaba sentado con mi hombro derecho contra una pared baja con mi mochila debajo de mi cadera derecha. Mm. Acababa de poner mi teléfono encima de la mochila. Mm. El ladrón tuvo que acercarse a mí en silencio y alcanzar a mi alrededor para recogerlo. No era un área llena de gente, así que no me lo esperaba. Por lo general estoy más alerta. Ay, Jeff. Jacob. Mm. Nahuel Martínez Burguello uh -huh. dice... Ja, 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 lo retaba, ja, 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 bájalo. Ah, cuando te estaba diciendo que no se veía el pincel ahí arriba. O sea, sí se veía, pero es que no sé por qué te fuiste tan arriba. Bájalo. Eh, y Nahuel dice, depende de la técnica también el uso de los pinceles, porque cuando se deterioran no se puede lograr cierto efecto cálculo. Claro, sí. Eso, obviamente, eh, el uso slash abuso al que someto mis pobres pinceles tiene mucho que ver con mmm, como la decisión consciente de, de cómo pinto de la manera como más mucho más expresiva que pinto de un soporte crudo de no tener medio un medio hace las cosas mucho mucho más sencillas y mucho más placenteras para el pobre pincel Camila O'Gorman dice, bueno, bastante papa frita la de la tienda. Eso es obvio que se entiende que en Colombia se usa, me regalas. Pues yo creo que igual, bueno, sí, igual esto fue hace 20 años, de pronto 
como que hoy en día uno ya... De pronto hay ya una, más una generación de hacer, más... Sí, como a dichos de otros sí. países, pero... Sí. Me encanta además el dicho bastante papa frita, la de la tienda. Sí, <risa> muy huevona. Sí. <risa> Liat, Esa grosera. Say, hello. Hey, Liat. Hey, Liat. How are you? Grosera, eh, Camila. Siempre grosera. Sergi Arts dice... Nico, ¿conoces Sergi. la pintura de Sorolla llamada Yo soy el pan de la vida? Es enorme, fue un encargo que le hicieron en su día. Justo la vi hoy en la expo. A ver. A ver, yo la abro acá. Sí, pero es que igual no puedo ver allá, bien. Sí, por eso. Yo soy la muerte. El pan de la ah. vida. Sorolla. A ver. No, yo no la había visto. Creo que la había visto. Creo que la había visto, pero no la había vuelto a ver, la verdad. Ah, pero mi, si mira el tamaño acá. No, pues una esta? locura. Esta será post. Ah, no, ah, sí. Mira. Sí es grande. Sí, estaba pensando si era como las de la Hispanic Society, que son enormes. De, ¿Será como de esa época? A ver si dice el tamaño. No, pues 4,1 como... por 5,3 mm. metros. Que quería mandarme a ver si, si podía yo. No, pues es como cuando yo ojo. te dije, oye, ¿sabes esa foto y tú? Sí, discúlpame. Un poquito más pequeños de. Más chiquito que, na, que natural. Uy, ¿qué tal esa figura? Trump Loyal. No, ya no la tengo. Ah, bien. ¿no? ¿Esta? La que se sale como ah, del, sí, sí, del sí, sí, marco. Sí, 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 sí. ¡Wow! Sí. Que Sorolla era un monstruo. Sí. No, 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 chao. ¿Cómo Sorolla? No hay. Está en la olla uno. Eh, Prince Barebones was yes. saying hello everyone. Hey Prince Barebones. Hello, Prince. Julia Tovar dice, Dani se me había pasado Tovar, agradecerte Julia. también por la escogida del portafolio y toda la gestión. Estoy muy emocionada con el tema. Ay no, Julia, con mucho cariño. Julia Marina. Le mandamos nuestra selection. Sí. Y tiene que contarnos, Julia, cómo va, cómo va todo el proceso. Seguro... Seguro que al final las que terminó eligiendo Julia. Todas las que no elegimos. Pero puede ser, y eso también es chévere. Qué jodedera. Como que a uno le digan, yo creo que estas, y uno de pronto en ese momento se da cuenta como, ay, no. Para que les pregunto. Para mí son estas. Para que les ya. digo a esos idiotas que me ayuden. Leaf Veiled Boy. Ricardito. Dice, hi, hola chicos. Hola Ricardito, y dice, se les extrañaba. Siempre, mismo Ricardito. Ricardito. ¿Qué cuenta Ricardito? Eh, Jorge H. Guatibonza. Sí, dice, Jorge. Es un placer estudiar y dedicar mi tiempo en lo que me gusta. Me emociona su constante misterio y complejidad. También es un res o... reto y me asombra lo que significa ese reto. Vale. No, porque tú preguntaste que qué tal era estudiar artes en Tunja, que cómo le había ido sí. estudiando artes en Tunja. Sí, sí. Esa fue la respuesta. Eh... Let's see. Liad was saying, yes, something like that happened. They also are more likely to go after fan art that depicts their IP in the ways they don't, even mm. though stuff like that could be a satire. satire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe that's what I was saying. I mean, what you were saying about the... Batman? Kid, I guess, yeah. Yeah. And also, what I was trying to say, if the AI-produced episode of SpongeBob has, like, violence, because it's yeah. not something they want people to relate to, To SpongeBob. Yeah, it's like weird because I, yeah, that's probably, and I think you're probably right. That's probably what uh, what made them say no. We have to get this off uh, because I'm, there's tons of satire, like you know, um, content made with SpongeBob. I'm sure. Yeah, but I think it's different to see like a drawing that you say, okay, this is fun art. That maybe episodes that are getting more traction. Well, but there's, t I'm sure there's, like, Peppa Pig. There's so much weird stuff made with Peppa. And it's all over YouTube. It's all over YouTube. Yeah. So, 
I don't know. I I guess they just you know they're protective of their IP. I, you know I think that's also... all we need to know. We should see like Disney the... is like that. Um, Nintendo. Oh my God, Nintendo is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, they'll take anything down. Like they don't care if it's small. They don't care. It's like no, we'll take it down. Yeah. Catherine Poremsky was saying, I think Mattel shut down the movie Superstar about Karen Carpentier using Barbies. I'm not familiar. Me neither, but... I mean, it makes sense because I also feel that Barbie has been super protective of what things they do. No? I don't know. Let's see. It says Superstar the current Carpentier story. Nineteen eighty eight. It was all done with Barbies. Mm. What? Mira esta escena. That's awesome. That looks like um oh what's the animator that did uh the weird Alice in Wonderland? The stop motion? Um Julia me ayuda? Julia googleando en este momento. ¿Cómo se dice? Sven Mayer? Stop motion? Yeah. It says Jean. Mm-hmm. Svank Meyer. Sven yeah. I've never seen that. Oh, wow. He's so cool. You would like him. He's so dark. It's well, so it cool. Well, it looks cool. Yeah, it's super it cool. very cool. Yeah, it's super, super cool. Stop motion can be really creepy. Candice McCown, mm -hmm. who's saying, oh, yeah, like that sergeant in the Boston Public Library, someone threw paint on and he had to repaint it because someone got upset. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't know that case, to be honest with you. Now I'm curious. Brady Fallows was saying, I don't want to bring down the mood of this lovely Oof. kill stream. Or oh. get too political. But oh, yeah, bring it. The U.S. is a neo-puritanical society still. Um, yeah, but we were we were mentioning a case in Argentina. I they, I just you know, I was I went to Catholic school. My mother is like devout Catholic, but my mother is a devout Catholic that is also an artist. I don't think. I I mean she'll say I don't like this. I I totally understand my mother saying she doesn't like something. Oh, but she's not going to But she will never condone like in the name of like God destroying things like that. Destroying like the works of some art students. My mother was an art student in the 70s. Like she's totally she knows what it means to make art. So I yeah, sadly, I don't know. I I guess I guess deep down it is um you know uh, an issue that does come from the dogmas of religion. I don't think it comes from spirituality or anything like that. Uh but just from from you know the church and dogmas particularly. Mm -mm. Um but but um yeah, I I I also don't think it's it's a It's something that ex that it's exclusive of countries or regions. I think it's something that can happen. I mean, I could see that happening here in Colombia for sure. There's enough very devout, um, you know, uh, Catholics or Christians that that would, you know, if if they thought that they were right, or that they had the right, or that they were 
saving people by destroying something that is evil, they would do it, I'm sure. So, yeah. Yeah, complicated. Mm. Let's see. So, oh, Chili. Do you want to go to the floor? Say bye, Chili. Ardi, ciao. Um, Prince Barebones was saying to Cody, Cody, haha, always ready to slide the pitch in for the workshop. Oh, always. And uh, Cody was saying, I'm going to keep slide. Sliding into the conversation until they set a date or permanently ban me. Haha. <laughs> no, no. And Prince Verbones was saying, Cody, a thousand year ban for Cody. No, we'll Cody do it. Um, was saying, how sad would it be if they waited to come here until I died and only to come pick up their paintings? Ha <laughs> ha. <sighs> Great reminder, by the way. <laughs> Thanks for keeping that alive. Um, no, we could do it. I'd be super happy doing it next year. The, and the reason I say next year is because I know that this year we can't. Mm -hmm. Like it's physically super tough for us to find like um a um just a moment where we could do that. But if you don't mind waiting till next year, I am super like I I don't I don't want to speak for Danny, but I think um you know in in these sort of things we're both in agreement that. We're totally like we're oh, super happy passed. to visit. Yeah, yeah. we're super Wherever happy. It is, I already passed. Yeah, we're super happy. We would be super happy to visit, particularly places that we don't, um, we haven't been to. So yeah, uh, I haven't been there. So Jatuki zero zero one. Yutaki. Was saying hi, Nicolas and Danny. Hey, Jatuki, how are you? Eh. Okay, I've been but avoiding your portrait. Let's um <laughs> in in a minute, let's go for it. So I'm gonna go with the um, flow? No, with oh. what I think Oof. the best way to do the pronunciation. Okay, go, go for it. So Bartolome. Okay. The Bosch. Okay, yeah. The, Maybe well, that was they'll simple. be able to tell us. Uh they were saying, Nicolas, your works really made a big impact on my approach to painting. I'm thankful you. for your work both of you do on this channel. While I'm painting, your streams are my sweet companions. Thank oh, that's you. so nice. No, that's Thank so you. nice. Yeah. Thank you so oh, much. That's always what makes us the happiest, to yes. be honest. And I'm sorry if I uh, butchered. Mm -hmm. Butchered? But butchered. You had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Butchered your I name. I had it and I butchered it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I but butchered oh, there we go. <laughs> your, the, your name pronunciation. Your name. And we kept going. <laughs> yeah. Getting worse. Yeah. Like your, what was the word you said in Spanish? I forget. Um, at portas? At portas. <laughs> at portas. Um, yeah, as, soon as, you're, as soon as you feel the need to say something in Latin. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably Because you not... said at portas, I was going to go with tabula rasa. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I thought you went there. Yeah. Which, by the way, What's I that? use tabula rasa because I like it. I like it too. You know but that it's at actually. At portas, it was like. That really? is a quote. That is in a quote of um, for the uh, presentation. Oh, really? Yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to say it. If I'm going to use that, you should. I really uh, like that, like the concept. Oh yeah, yeah. Behind it, and it actually, art. yeah, and it actually I love it. It's very pertinent to what I'm going to speak about. So, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to use that particular quote. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm deciding about. Okay. Thank Irving you. Torres Art dice, ja, 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 muchas gracias, Nico, muy buenos consejos. Creo que inconscientemente estoy haciendo lo que recomiendas. Siempre es muy agra agradable escucharlos. Muy buen punto, Dani. Saludos a Chili. Muchas gracias, la Chilita. Mira, se fue y se acostó ahí solita. Sí, por tu rechazo. Eh, Nahuel Martínez uh -huh. Burguello dice, tienen un hermoso canal de arte, los felicito. Tan amable. Muchas gracias, Nahuel. Eh, Ricardito dice, pues tengo trabajo de esos de 9 a 6 pm, bueno. entonces como que ajustándome a cambio, 
e intentando encontrar el balance para darme tiempo para pintar, etc. Y ahora pues están conmigo en el carro com comprándome una hamburguesa. Uy, Ricardito. La pintura está, se está viendo linda. Tan lindo, gracias. Y Ricardito dice, OMG, Nintendo is insane, insane. Sí. But also, to touch on the same topic, I do not get why is that they try to make Pokemon look sexy. Like, <laughs> why? Why does Sarina look thick? Sarina. Why does Lopuni, I don't know how to say it, have a dumpy? Okay, It's a yeah. It's show, LMAO. Well, people fantasize, I mean, people fantasize about anything. Yeah. yeah there are people I don't, weird. I don't particularly find that, I mean, it is weird, I guess, but I don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm not freaked out by those things. I think if you see things that are like depicted that are like really, woof, again, bordering illegal, like that you could get arrested. Mm -hmm. That I would be like, okay, there's there's a sign here about something else going on. Yeah, Victor but... Dito also said, Nintendo takes down Smash Bros. stream and videos, yet they out, there, they out here making designs of Pokemon that are legit just only fans material. <laughs> <laughs> um, Liet was saying, fun art, Often helps uh, IP, but certain companies and certain uses are more strict, yeah. even if it falls under fair use, yeah. like Nintendo. Yeah, they are crazy. Mm. B4GG was saying, mm -hmm. to this day, it amazes me how much South Park has gotten away yeah. with it with in terms of image rights, yeah. but I guess they don't do too much with IPs. No, they'll hint at, they'll go as far as they can without, I'm sure they have a legal team that they probably write something and then they run it through the legal team. And if there's like the smallest loophole or the smallest little window that they can just get away with something, they'll be like, let's do it. Yeah, it's amazing. But, and I know people, some people don't particularly don't, care much for uh south park or like family guy or like but um i th i think those i think they're necessary even though they may be um super burnt out and 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 some people would say like no this is dead like this is not funny anymore i i think that in some level they're they're it's okay to have um satire in like mainstream media you know cartoons which is pretty much what they are so i don't know I, I think they're necessary. Irving Torres Art was saying, there's a guy making really cool stop motion shorts, which are very interesting. His animation is flawless. He uses Absolutely clay motion. Absolutely flawless. The name of the channel is Goldies. Okay. No, I, I don't uh, think, I, I don't know if I'm familiar. like this sort of thing, you should check it out. I think I've never seen uh, their channel. No? Did you check it out? No, no, no. Oh. By the name, I think. Oh, I have... okay. Maybe it's the uh, dude that does with felt. Stuff with felt. Because they were saying clay. Oh, claymation? Yeah. Like old school? Not really. Old school claymation? Look. Oh, oh it looks Gumby? beautiful. Isn't he the one that cuts the tree? Oh, I think I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super good. Oh, I like it. Yeah, it's it's super cool. Oh, I want to see more. Yeah, I've of seen it. I've seen I've seen their videos. Uh, the one that you're talking about. Yeah. But I don't know if you're talking about the girl that does that, because there's a there's a man that does that. Okay. That I've shown you before. Let me see if I have it here. Hmm. Because I think that Irwin may like it. Hmm. All for Irvin. All for Irvin. All for Irvin. Because I think you were talking about Anna. Maybe. Mansaris. Mansaris. I don't know if that's the 
way to do the pronunciation. Ay, ¿cómo es que le digo? Mm. But you know her name? Like, that's her name? Their name? Yeah, the one of the girl. But there's a boy that does that too. And, like, he shares the whole process. Yeah. And, and I've shown you that he has, like, some, uh, like, sets. Yeah. And it's, like, cereal boxes. And he paints, the like, the cardboard part of it. But mm -hmm. then he does the animation, and he has an animation of a wizard. Yeah, that one's super cool. And the doc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that cool. one's super good. So cool. So he's the one that does the tree, tr the cutting down the tree also. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's super cool. Oh, no, but Anna is... She's the one that does the tree. No, what? He's the one that does the tree. Anna is... They're the ones that do <laughs> no. the tree. I mean, you're gonna... Anna is this one. Oh You're yeah! Oh no! That she's amazing. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's amazing too. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, like, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's incredible. Yeah. What's his name? It's okay. Somebody, no. maybe somebody uh, knows already. My brain. Uh, maybe somebody knows. No, I, I'm looking at the comments, and there's no comments about that there's nobody interested <laughs> nobody yeah lady let it go and mind your vocals <laughs> Ay, Jesus. i wonder Jesus. if people know what when you say that like what that meant what the mind your vocals oh well should i explain it this was uh this was somebody some user that uh, I guess Danny had her gain up a little bit. No, I was just excited. Or she was just screaming, which is <laughs> yeah. also normal. Uh, and they just uh, commented like, lady. In all caps. I was lady. like, I don't know what's wrong with the lady. No, they were just lady. Like exclamations. <laughs> Manage your vocals. And I was like, okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. The kind comment, yeah. Danny, it's okay. No, not for me, because I kind of, like, I have an idea uh -huh. of the name. Yeah. I don't know if that has happened to you, but it's super... I mean, we did this, like, you know, the last time. No, yeah, yeah. No, but this is super frustrating, that you know how it sounds in your brain, yeah. but you can't word it out. Oh, it's like your brain, sound. your... No, that's why I'm saying I can't... Like, it's like there's a part of my brain that remembers... But it's not, I want to talk to that part. But it's not the um, the word part of my brain. So let me talk it's to like them. An abstract part. No, because you can't communicate with the abstract part of my brain. No. Only I I'll can. I'll try. Only I can. No, because it can communicate. So are you able to communicate with it? <laughs> right at the moment, no, <laughs> it's not picking up. No, I like I feel. Sound I don't it know, out, like blah no. blah blah. Do you remember when we were looking for? Yeah, because you, you're good like that. And I said, from Fli Vuvafal. Yeah, you're good with, and it's Sophie. Sophie. Uh huh. Now we don't forget about that ever. Yeah. But, well, no. I'm sure not ever, I mean, ever, you're but. You're good with that, like wording out. But yeah. For me, I mean, this is gonna sound super abstract, but maybe someone can relate to that. Not really. I just feel like I close my eyes yeah. and I see the thing I want to remember there. Okay. Like I try to grab it, but I, I'm not able to grab it. But okay. it's not like I can word out something because it's not like that thing is. Just like sending me, like data <laughs> uh -huh. of sounds or letters. Okay. It's just like I know it's there. Okay. And sometimes I just like stretch a lot and I get it, and that's when I remember the. Do names. you want to stretch? Is that what you're missing? Like, do you mm. need to stretch? Adam. No. I'm just gonna say no, names. No, you're just gonna. Oh, maybe I have a <laughs> a, sh <laughs> a short cut to it. Okay. Let me see. Maybe it's a terrible idea. Maybe it's the best idea. Maybe it's Maybelline. Mm. Okay, there's another one, but th no, this is not the one I'm talking about. Mm. 
Oh, which, by the way, I... I no. no. I don't see it, but... There's also an Stupid short animator. Cut. It's a Colombian animator. Okay. Very cool. His name is Mateo Montoya. Okay. It's Clayman Illustration. Okay. On Instagram. Cool. It is so beautiful, the things he does. Yeah, with plastilina, probably. With, yeah. Well, I mean, look at this. Oh, that's amazing. And yeah. look at this. I mean, this is him painting. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, we should talk to him. He's so cool. Like, I always see his work and I'm like, ah. Oh, no, so I didn't know. No? I didn't know. No. Oh, Look well, don't treat me like. No, because I always show you the things oh, I enjoy. Oh, that's amazing. It's so beautiful. Look at the little hand with the yeah. cape. Is he here? He's here. I think he's from Medellin, maybe. Okay. Yeah, the username is Clayman underscore illustration. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, let me uh, contact him and see if we can have like a conversation. It'll be super cool. Mm. Yeah, I have to show you more because he's so cool. So I yeah, but this was uh, the one yeah, this was about, not but really I was able to found uh, Mateo Montoya's work. Okay, but that doesn't make up amazing. for the other part. It does not really. Mm. So, Cody Winicky was saying, oh, but wait, before. Is that what he said? No, no, no. Oh. Ke no, because Cody was saying, I will never forget the mind your vocals lady person. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit rude. Oh, legendary. I mean, I'm always rude. okay with oh. feedback, but that was a little wrong. Maybe you had feedback. <laughs> yeah. That was the problem. Um. Brady Fellows was saying, I once heard the creators of South Park quoted as saying that they usually put one really over-the-top awful thing per episode and then the censors will let them get away with the rest. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Um, that's a good idea. B4GG was saying, uh, Brady Fellows, I guess they're taking the never let your right hand know what your left hand is doing approach and brady was saying before gg they're sacrificing their be best jokes so that the show can go on heroes uh, yeah those dudes are doing i know that that um they get a lot of crap but they're doing something right like they are it's as, as much as you want to criticize them it is so not easy to just try to push something for decades now like over what is it like 25 years now mm -hmm. that is crazy to be able to do that that is really really crazy prince barebones was saying i remember that manage your vocals incident haha <laughs> that guy was so rude but i'm glad you guys can laugh about it haha <laughs> yeah oh, we that always doesn't do it. yeah that sometimes doesn't. we're even like we're not doing a stream and oh just yeah it became a thing for us like, Manage your vocals, lady. Yeah. I mean, it's just a quote that we say now. Or sometimes you're just like, lady, lady. Mm. Manage your vocals. So, yeah. It was great because now we have this uh, super cool joke that we do. Yeah, we're actually indebted. Art by Natalie Williamson was mm -hmm. saying, I get it, Danny. For me, it's like the memory or part of it is there and I have a little snippet of it that I can hold on to, but I can't grab the whole thing. But bits add to it, and then I can get it. That's what happens to me. Okay. And it's weird, because it's like the part that I have right now uh -huh. is not a sound or a word. Okay. What What is it? Do, can you, can no, you I, um, categorize like it dust, in some way? Part dust. Of, no, okay, great. It's bigger than dust. Okay. It's like a... Um, Cloud? No. Fog. No, no, because it's something I can grab. It, you can I, grab. Yeah, because I was telling you that I like I close my eyes and I feel like I cotton it's candy. There. Cotton candy. Like I can grab it, but it's kind of cotton candy. I can grab the part. A smoke machine. No. Yes. Yeah, I knew it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I knew it. <laughs> all you, that's all you needed. My help. Eh, Ricardito. 
Ajá. Dice, me encanta lo opaco que son los olores de la piel bien desaturada. No, ¿qué está pasando? Bueno, un momento, un momento, <risa> Ricardito. Ricardito, eh, ¿Qué pasó acá, Ricardo? manténgalo PG, por favor. No, PG igual es... Para niños. ¿Ah, sí? Sí. Es para jóvenes, para adolescentes. Sí, yo creo que en PG-13 igual no estaría... Sí, Ricardito, por favor. Lo opaco de los olores de la piel bien mm, desaturada. Mm, mm. <risa> Sí, eso sonó a... Bueno, me el sonó perfume, a algo, pero... La película del perfume. Sí, me sonó a... Que trabajo en una morgue. Sí, a mí también uh -huh. por eso dije el perfume. Pues uh -huh. no sé si te las viste. Sí, pero... sí, sí. Sin spoilers, ¿no? Sí, pero... sí. <risa> eh, Chili, acá parece como otro animal. Como un raccoon larguito. Más consentida. Eh, a ver A ver Ay. I know I'm not gonna be able to sleep No? Until I get the name I just, know that they've done some podcast oh, just, Could episodes? you just search Like stop motion Wizard Doc Yeah I mean, it was uh, like, I I'll do it. To... No, no, no. Let me I'll give it. you and I'll give you a letter and maybe you can. That'll help you grab okay. the smoke machine. No, it's not. It's smoke. Can you grab smoke? Okay. I, well, it depends. No. Yes, I think you can. How? D define grab. With your hand. I mean, you can. Only your hand. I mean, but you can. But it's like cake. particles. No, you don't grab it. Well, I guess like define no, grab. No, you move it. Like you move it. But you never trap it. You could trap smoke in your hands. You could cup smoke. Cup. I'm not saying using a cup. No, saying cup with hands. your hands. Like, no, it's you can cup with it's your hands. Cakes. No, you can. No. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Stop motion animation, <laughs> wizard, wizard duck. duck. Okay. Yeah, so, so I have it right here. I know that the name sounds, name and wait, last wait. name sounds uh, like a let word. Let me turn down my volume. Because I thought that the name... Wait, I, wait, wait, okay. Let me give you what I have in my brain. Okay. The name and the last name sound like a play of words. Well, it's the username. I no, have a user. that's the name. Okay, no. Their name sounds like a play on words, which I think is okay. so cool. Let me see, let me see, because that makes sense. So that makes 100% sense. Um, Just go to their Instagram. Oh, could you not? M lady. Manage your... Manage your... Googling. Yeah, you're right. So... Name and last name sounds yeah. like a play on words. Yes. Now, what's the play on words? I have no idea. So I'll give you hints. Without the first letter of the name. No, I'll give you hints. So, no, but don't give it the musicality or. No, no, no. So, the second part of the name has to do with what he does. That's a good hint. So, what does he do? Animates. Well, the the Sculpt. not not the verb, the noun. Pero no, mi amor. So he does animation. Yeah, but. No, but it's not with. So I just I found it. So that's I'm helping out. And you were right. Like it what you're thinking, like a, yeah, is totally right. And you're right there. It's actually it wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad, bad uh, mnemonic device. Mm. Super close, Danny. No, I just remember the whole, um, the username. Oh, you did? Terry Ebel. That's the name. Well. And that's why I was saying, because it's terrible. So I thought that that was the play in words. That, that's why when you were saying animation. Oh, I but the thing is he. I didn't get what you're saying. It's terry Mation. That's mm. what I found. No, it's Terry Ebel. That's the name. Is Terry that his thing Ebel. now then? And now he's Terry Ter Mason, Terry Bull. No, but that's the name. That's name and last name. Terry Ebel. 
Really? So I'm there. Yeah. So I'll, I always thought it sounds like terrible and it's a good play on words. But then I realized that was their name. Terry Ebel. Who? Who has a last name Ebel? Terry Ebel. I, I got there. I'm so proud of myself. Not really. Terry Are you sure? Ebel. Yeah. Look. Terry Ebel. Oh, e like Terry Bell. Terrible. Like ideal, Ibel. But for me, it was like terrible. Oh. So, That's yeah, not bad. It's Terry, T E R R Y. Uh huh. I B E L E. Okay. And it's so. Good. We got there. You, well, well, you got I there. Well, I did. Yeah, because you were like, it sounds like, because I was like, animates, and you were like, no, the noun. And I was like, no, it doesn't sound like animates. Well, it, you could argue that. Because I said that, you got there. So how? <laughs> I don't know. But before no, you I was didn't. Saying, no, it's a play on. Look, bec before before that, I told you that it was a play on words. So I was like, no, it's not that. It has to do with other things. So you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Terry Ebel, Terry Bell, Terry Bell. Mm. We did it. <laughs> We did it. You did it. I'm sorry. You yeah. Did it. I mean, I didn't want to say that, but <laughs> yes. You did it. You're the one. Always. Okay. That was a little too much. Always. And forever. I mean, I had help, so. Well, you Googled, so yeah. So Googled, like, yeah. The help. Sergi Arts dice, Ay, Nico, me encantó la pintura de Company. Me uh, recordó aquella semana que pintaste a Dani como una persona en un cuadro de Zorn. Como una persona, finalmente. Sí. Al fin la respetaste. Sí. Eh, ¿Cuál? ¿Te acuerdas? Es que la he pintado mil veces como con Zorn. ¿Cuál será, no, porque Sergi? Digo como un cuadro de Zorn. Pero es que no me acuerdo la como verdad. Como una persona en un cuadro de Zorn. No, ayúdeme, ayúdeme, Sergi, un poquito más específico. Sound it out. <laughs> sí. Cody Winicky was saying, good job, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It was 90% Nicolás. Thank you. I mean... 10% me. Well, I don't know. And Cody was saying, poor, terrible. That's a rough thing you have your name associated with. No, I thought it was so cool. Like, I think it would be so cool in, like, when you're a kid to be like, I'm Terry Ibel. I don't think it's a cool thing when you're a kid. I think it's so cool. Oh, uh, when you're a kid, so... you just want to be, no, and like, I, unnoticed. Way, talking about someone, so I think it, he is very cool. His work is very cool. Yes. And the fact that it sounds like, like, it's just... The, the fact that it sounds terrible? No, it's just the way my brain remembers it. I'm sure it's, you're not the only one. it doesn't even sound like that, because it's Ibel. So it's like... Terrible. Terry, Terry Ibel. Terrible. Terrible. I think it's just so cool. And he's so nice, because he... I mean, I haven't talked to him ever, but... Okay. He shares, like, stories... Okay. ...of the process... Yeah. And it's so cool to see how invested he is with the things he does. I think stop so motion like, animators, and particularly those that work alone, yeah. they are a certain, there's like a breed of people in this earth that are, and those are the only ones that can do that. And he was like, I remember in the videos, he was like, so Danny. I wanted to do this. No. <laughs> so I got cereal boxes and I cut them all. And it's like step one, step two, and he shares things in um, stories. Like yeah. Photos of the process, and it's so cool. He's so talented. It's so amazing because they are uh, problem solvers. At, at, yeah. You know, that's that's incredible. I mean, I don't say that I'm like that. You are I like that. that. Yeah. No, because it sounds like, oh, I am. No, but You I are terrible. Like, <laughs> I feel like my brain works kind of like that. Like, I think so, too. I would love to do, like, a stop motion and just, like, figure out what things I would use. Because I would, like, my setup would be done with the things I found. Yeah. 
It's not like, oh, I don't have this super expensive thing. It's like, no. Yeah, you don't. To the park, I'm going to take the branch. Yeah. And I'm going to add this other thing. You should. I know it's... Yeah. I know, I know. But, um... No, and it's more than that. Because it's the animation part, so... Oh, yeah, that's... You know, that is crazy. Yeah. I mean, the closest thing to animation, which is not close at all... <laughs> Was the little things I did for our painted lives. I mean, that's that's like technically animation, so it's not... No, not at all, because it was like a three-second thing. Doesn't matter. Think that's... about a stop motion. No, it, I, fine, but it is. But you can't say it's not. It is. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, it is. Not, well, yeah, but yeah. Um... No, and I remember the um the lady in the uh, uh, jumping in the swimming oh, pool. Love that I loved it. I love I that think stuff. I have it in my mail. I should. Um, I love that stuff. Upload it to I don't know my stories or my. You should. I, I loved did it. it. For it was like a homework. In the I thing know, but I, like I loved it. Yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was awesome. How is it called the thing you have like the pixel thing? Because that's what we had to do, like a bitmap. I know oh, it's a bitmap. Yeah, you could you could call like it that. A like eight bit and well, it's not quite eight bit animation, but yeah. No, but like a pixel pixel animation. No, because we didn't have to do an animation. We had to do an image. Oh, you were the but oh, you overdid it then. Yeah, and oh, I was okay. super excited with it, and I was like, I like the image, but I would like for it to be like a GIF, GIF. Yeah. So I wanted to move. GIF is okay. So GIF I is that. crazy people. GIF. No, it's just that that's like a dumb debate about how you're supposed to say it. But and um, now that we're talking about um, stop motions, yeah, I think it's always a good time to um, stop recommend and... no oh the work of Adam Elliot, which is the um, artist that did my favorite stop motion, which is Mary and Max. Yeah, amazing. If you haven't seen it. Do yourself a favor. Oh, it's... It's very cool. One of the best animated movies, for yeah. sure. It is very cool. Yeah. You know what the budget was? I don't know how to measure that. But he... Did he, didn't he get help from, like, Australian government or something? I'm sure, like, that went into budget, but... But uh, didn't he get, like, a grant or something to do that with the help of... Because I'm trying... Yeah. Uh, it says it took almost five years yeah, that's from crazy. script to screen that's and crazy. 57 weeks to animate and shoot. It's crazy. And think about animate and shoot, not even like create all the the puppets. Yeah, mm, that is insane. And it insane. says six animation teams worked under Elliot's direction. Okay, but that's in bigger. In a converted Melbourne factory. Yeah. That's bigger than what I thought to be to be honest with you. Um it's still like those tasks like doing anim like stop motion animated movies they are like Leica it's they I don't know like that is that they're right now their like technology allows them to be a little more efficient I would say. Um uh, but still I mean it's crazy. And 3D printing, I guess. That's also like modeling in ZBrush and then 3D printing. Um, that's why in Leica, all the characters now have like 80 like mouths. It's so absurd, like the range they have. But it's because it's, you know, it's not, I mean, it's not easy, but it's easier now to just say, I have my model. I'm just changing this little part and I can print it. Yeah. I can have it printed and it's like, you know, it totally works. But it's crazy to think about five years. And the, I mean, Mary and Max is 90 minutes long. Yeah. So it's crazy. But yeah, I was just uh, seeing that the budget was Australian 8.2 million. Yeah. Sounds a lot. Yeah, but I think that was, they, they got help from. He got? Yeah. It says, you know which one's weirder even? There's. Because uh, they won the Oscar for for animated, uh, and then they did like um, 
like a movie. Um, what's it called? The little puppet thing. ¿Cuál es que so? Seven, eight, or something like that it's called. You never saw that one? No. It was first a short. Um, it's like this little, like, jute puppet. Or like, you know, like burlap puppet. Is it como... Seven? The... Animated movie? Seven or eight? It's a number. I know it's a number. Nine. Nine. There we go. We got that. Uh, yeah. Here. So, but look for, for that. Look for the director and then put animated short. Not the movie, but the so short. Shane Acker is the director. Maybe. I, I don't have him like. And? Animated, animated short. And I think he got an Oscar for he He won an Oscar for that one. Nine short film on video. Maybe. And and see how many how long it took for him to do because Academy I think, nominee. It yeah. Says. Okay. So maybe he didn't win. Academy Award nominated short film that inspired the feature. Yeah. There we go. So that's it. So see if you can find how long it took him to do because it's the a short. ten minute. Yeah. So so because I think he did it by himself, like in the basement of his parents' house or something like that. I've I've. Again, I've read this, but I don't I don't know if I remember or misremember or I don't know. So it says that he did the short. Yeah. The ten minute short while he was still at UCLA. Okay. Uh let me see. Mm. Maybe here. Ugh. I hate when you can see part of the info, but it's like and you then have it's to subscribe. Log in, oh, yeah, stop it! Yeah, to get more info. No, thank you. Um, let's see. Maybe here. Um, plot no. Mm, production. So it says nine was originally supposed to last three minutes, but was later extended to ten. It was meant to be a stop motion film, but was later made using CGI, which I have no idea what it is. Oh, computer graphics. The 2D element of the film were made by drawing, painting, and using Photoshop. The puppet characters and stop motion animation were inspired by those in the film Balance, directed by Wolfgang and Christoph uh, Lowenstein. It got oh it got it got the Student Academy Award. Okay, I didn't know that. The mm, like I have a ton of information, but I don't know. But uh, how. not that. No. Nah. No. Well, I know that it, um, it so we'll look for that later, but I know it took years. Yeah. You know, I, I know it took, you know, it was a far smaller project in, in scope, but it was, you know, years in the making. Yeah. So. And I mean, this is nothing comparable. I mean, like I can't compare the tiny things I did with this. Like animation-wise, well, but, but no, no, no. But what I'm trying to say is that sometimes I would be up for, like, maybe it was like time to sleep, and I told you like, no, I want to do this tiny animation that I'm doing, and it could be <laughs> like three hours into it. Yeah. And you were like, let me see, and it was bleh, bleh, like a tiny movement. Yeah. Because it was always like a four-second uh, animation. And I remember sometimes you were like, Danny, it's so fast that maybe they're not going to see it. Like, if you really want to sleep, go to sleep. Like, it's yeah. fine. And I was like, nope. No. This is not for them. It's no, for me. It's for me. And I was so satisfied. To yeah. Do it. No, I did, that's I amazing. I loved it. So. Um, yeah. And I was looking in Mary and Max. It yeah. said... The principal photography lasted over 57 weeks using 133 separate sets, oh God. 212 puppets, Jeez. and 475 miniature props, including a function. 
function functioning 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 underwood typewriter which apparently oh. took nine weeks to design and build. no way so he the typewriter is actually a typewriter i didn't know that oh that's so crazy it makes it even better oh that's so crazy i, I just, love those things i love like yeah i know it's a typewriter but can we make it actually work that would be something i would try oh to. you I would just, be like I love like those little things Oh, I love that. That's amazing. Um, so let's see. Mm. Mario León. Mario Alberto León Bonilla. Dice, hola, en YouTube este stop motion en madera, hidrari, pilot film, y dice, tres deditos así. Pero, ¿cómo así? No, buen, pues También es escribió... Mira, mira. No, es que este... este ah. Era... A ver. Ese Mario se despertó... Para dar una buena de, recomendación. De... La verdad, Mario siempre... Se despertó en Villavicencio. Se despertó de jugar tejo. O de pronto, mientras juega, escribe. A ver, toca verla y la dejé. It says... The stop motion samurai, samurai film. Ah, pero Mario me ha mandado eso. Es espectacular. Sí, tengo que Uy, verla. mi se amor, ve es una... Se ve nada más. Es Desde una lo locura. que veo, veo como una, como una pelea. Uy, es una Pero veo locura. virutas saliendo. Es que increíble. Está muy lindo. Entonces, no, 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 que... es increíble. Tengo que verlo bien. Sí, yo lo seguí en, en Instagram apenas Mario me mandó eso. ¿Qué le pasa a Chile? Que... Ah, que la alcen, que equivo pues. Pero uno la alza. Cacaito Pelón dice, Oli, volví, jeje, wow, está quedando increíble. Cacaito, ¿no me oíste? Necesito que me respondas esto, a ver si tu mamá es igual. ¿Mm? Cuando tu mamá llama a mi mamá o a alguna de sus hermanas, ¿cómo es el saludo siempre? Es. No, pero no, le des opciones. Es. ¿Mm? Son tres cosas. No, pero a ver, Ay, o sea, ayúdala tres más. Tres cosas. A ver si de pronto Pero es, es igual. Es... ¿Qué? No, así ya no Ya ahí soplándole, no. no. no, no. Eh, Rosaline Dior. Oh, la... Rosalyn, what are you doing? Go to bed. To live, but hello everyone. Beautiful painting today. What time is it there? Rosalyn, go to bed. What are you doing? It's almost 1 a.m. if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Rosalyn, we're going to be up for like <laughs> fucking 20 hours a day. You should catch your breath. Eh, Now that you have a chance, catch your breath. Liad was saying, I follow a guy on Twitter that hand animated a full mo movie. He just finished it. Oh my Ooh. God. It's crazy. Yeah, animators are also. I mean. <laughs> Look, Cacaito dice, jaja, el saludo es siempre cubos, que más? Porque es cubos. Uh, o oh, solo cubos. Muy bien. Es cubo, que más? O cubos. ¿Qué o qué más? ¿O qué os? Siempre, <ríe> siempre, y solo es entre ellas. No sé por qué. O sea, mi mamá, yo son... nunca le he oído a nadie más que o qué más. Pero entre ellas, hermanas, siempre es sí. que o qué más. ¿Qué dice con orrea? No, okay. no, porque hablan es así. ¿Qué o qué más? ¿O qué os? Muy bien, cacaito. 10 de 10. Rosalind was saying, it's 1 a.m. Ah, oh, I know. Rosaline, turn off the phone. Uh, Prince Barebones was saying, oh, and if you don't already know her, the artist Katie Strutz makes amazing puppets. She has worked for Laika. Let's check her out. I don't know by name, to be honest. Do you? Um, No, maybe not. <laughs> I, oh, those are amazing. You know what look I love? That. Oh, so cute too. I love like oh, the look clothes. At that. Yeah. 
the tailoring. It's just crazy. Yeah. Oh, she looks it exactly like that. Yeah. <laughs> what? That's a self portrait. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that is so cool. That's exactly like her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's good. Yeah. She's very, very good. good. Oh, look at this grandma's. Yeah. Uh, I so love amazing. her. Yeah, this is so the cool. The knitting fight. To be honest, I I didn't know her work. No, me neither. But I love it. I'm going to see if she has an Instagram. Yes. Oh, could you could you follow it for me? Follow her <gasps> for me? It says follow back, Nicolas. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Nice. So follow back. Nice. And... I'm and do, share give her it. like eight likes in a row. Okay. Just so she knows we're here. <laughs> like. Laika. Laika. I. Like. Danny, by the way, I'm going to keep it like this. Like. The painting. Because I like it. I like I it. I like I too. <gasps> Simple. No, it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Mira este con el croissant sote. Oh, croissant girl. Ay, that's so good. Croissant girl? Croissant girl. Chilita. Chili, don't uh, take us out of the live. Not yet, at least. Chili. Uh, that was a great suggestion, uh, Prince Burbones. Thank you. Thank you. That was a weird sound. <laughs> Um, a ver Sergi Arts dice No Sergi. quisiera hacer oversharing Uy, esta... vamos, abrimos la puerta Pero esta semana pasada falleció un familiar mío Ay, No sé si a ti Nico te ayudó con el duelo El pintar a la persona que acaba de fallecer No sé si hacerlo o no No, Sergi, yo molestando acá ya me siento como un idiota no, primero lo siento mucho, Sergi. Lo sentimos mucho, sí, seguro. Sí, lo sentimos mucho, sí. Eh, uf, difícil. Eh, difícil porque el, el eh, lidiar con, con duelo, yo creo que no es algo que uno puede como, como... hacer una receta, como decir, sí, sí, sí. esto es lo que le sirve a todas las personas. Incluso uno tiene que ser muy respetuoso de la forma como la gente hace un duelo. Muchas veces la gente siente que porque alguien no se comporta como uno, entonces no está haciendo un duelo. Incluso la misma persona puede tener duelos distintos por personas distintas. Sí, sí. Entonces yo diría que eso es una cosa súper personal. O sea, no, no diría que es algo que uno... O sea, la, la manera como... como eh, yo dentro de mi práctica pude, no sé, tener digamos como una especie de intercambio, conversación con mi papá. Eh, no sé si sea algo que mucha gente quiera tener o no sé, o, o le apetezca o, o no, o le interese. O... ¿Y al cuánto tiempo fue? Yo... Hmm. Es que yo no hice muchos, no, no hice muchas pinturas post, póstumas de mi papá. Yo creo que terminé haciendo, si incluyó los zapatos que hicimos y si incluyó la que, la que hice desde la, la imaginación. O sea, en, es que ahorita no, no, no recuerdo si son siete u ocho años que murió mi papá. Siete deberían ser. No. Cumplió siete. Cumple ocho ahorita. Porque... Sí, cumplió siete. Entonces cumple ocho este año. Tuyo siete. Sí. Entonces. Eh, eh, yo creo que he hecho cuatro o cinco cosas de pronto. Entonces, relativamente pocas. Eh, no sé. No sé. A, a, a mí me ayudaba como para verlo otra vez. Como, sí, como verlo. Como, es que yo supongo que observar cuando uno pinta es distinto a observar. O sea... Porque cuando uno pinta, uno está súper consciente de, como de la forma. Uno como que recorre la forma. Entonces, yo creo que cuando uno mira a otro ser humano, uno no le está recorriendo. Es como, hola, Dani, no, yo no te estoy recorriendo la frente. Como la manera en la que uno se fija mm. cuando está pintando o dibujando sí. o esculpiendo, lo que sea. Sí. Y, y pues, no sé, yo, yo... Eso me ayudaba a mí porque pues 
yo lidio con las cosas pintando, una de las maneras, digamos más bien, en que lidio con las cosas es pintando, entonces era simplemente como una, darme una oportunidad como de tener un espacio para, para lidiar con, con, con eso. Eh, pero yo no diría que, que eso es como... O sea, que si un artista no lo hace, entonces no le importó. Yo no, nunca diría eso. yo creo esto. que también uno tiene que como ser fiel a lo que uno está sintiendo. Mm. Yo, ahorita que murió mi abuela, cuando se me borraron las cosas del celular, Sergi, a mí me dio muy duro porque yo había tomado unas fotos de mi abuela que quería de pronto pintar o de pronto tallar. Y después encontré que me había mandado un par... Uy. Chili, pero vamos. Te adoro. Chili, respeta. Un par de esas las había encontrado porque me las había mandado a mi propio correo. Y en estos días que me senté que iba a ser un wash chiquito, pensé, bueno, voy a como revisitar esas imágenes de mi abuela. Y cuando las abrí me di cuenta que no era el momento. Porque como que todavía se me revolcaban muchas cosas y yo creo que también está bien uno decir. Claro. Como saber que el valor... De, la, de las imágenes también puede ser el potencial de lo que quisiera algún día hacer con ellas pero también que si con ellas no hago nada, el valor está en las imágenes en sí y como en los recuerdos en sí que traen las imágenes y no solamente en lo que pueda hacer yo con una pintura o con una talla o con mm. un dibujo de esas imágenes como que creo que el, el solo hecho de haberle tomado las fotos para mí es como algo muy grande y yo pues la verdad siento que no, no estoy en el momento de poder hacer mm. la pintura de esas imágenes que quería de mi abuela y creo que eso está bien y, claro. y creo que eso es lo que yo necesito en mi duelo y pues de nuevo si alguien dice no yo quiero coger absolutamente todas las imágenes que tengo de ese ser querido y pintarlas todas y dibujarlas todas o tengo solamente una imagen y quiero pintarla y dibujarla cien veces como mm. para que se me grabe en la cabeza, también es muy válido. Como que lo que tú dices, como que yo siento que no es una receta para todo el mundo, no es como que la manera en la que alguien lidia con un duelo va a ser la misma manera que le sirve a otra persona para sanar como ese, ese vacío de la, de la ausencia de alguien. Mm. No, creo que es muy distinto para cada persona. Sí, sí, eh, si, Ser, si Sergi siente que quisiera, porque algo lo, lo está como impulsando a hacerlo, pues hágalo, Sergi, no, no tiene que mostrárselo a nadie, o sea, no tiene que ser una cosa, o bueno, igual usted decide lo que quiera, o sea, eh, pero, pero no tiene que ser para nadie más, sino para usted y... Y si usted lo hace y lo mira y lo quiere votar o lo quiere guardar o lo quiere... O, o, o si se da cuenta que sí le ayudó, entonces fantástico, pero si, le da, si se da cuenta que lo pintó, pero no quiere mostrárselo a nadie también. O, o sea, si de pronto quería pintarlo y cuando lo pinte no le gusta la pintura, también está bien decir, bueno, o sea, tenía la intención de hacerlo, pero lo dejo al lado, al lado y de pronto en un futuro revisitarlo o en un futuro decir, no, ya... Como que esa fue mi manera de como también procesar el duelo y no quiero revisitar la imagen. Como que siento de verdad mm. que... Yo pensé que... que yo no iba a volver a hacer nada con mi papá. Y me acuerdo que en, en, eh, en cuando estábamos, o sea, sin, sin planearlo, sin nada, dije, ay, voy a... Tengo una imagen... Porque yo tenía muchas imágenes de mi papá y, y mi papá durmiendo. Eh, y entonces vi los zapatos y yo decía, ah, esto es una manera bonita. O sea, tenía como los zapatos encima de la cama durmiendo. Él como casi nunca se quitaba los zapatos pues para echarse a la cama. Y, y entonces yo dije, ay, voy a pintar estos zapatos porque así con los pies como cruzados. O sea, es mi papá. Yo le puedo mostrar eso a mis hermanas, a mi hermano, a mi mamá, eh, a Luz Deni, a todos los, incluso a todos los eh, nietos, nietas. Y ese es mi papá. O sea, por, por las patas, pues, solo... Eh, entonces, eh, no sé, yo no había pensado nunca más aproximarme a mi papá. Y ahí fue como una forma mucho más, como, no sé, curiosa, 
eh, de pronto menos, o que no, no iba a ser como tan emotiva para mí de aproximarme a mi papá. Y yo creo que un año después, por ahí, fue que cuando estábamos pintando como de, de la imaginación, dije, ay, quiero ver cómo me acuerdo como, como pintor de mi papá. O sea, quiero, quiero ver qué, qué quiere decir o qué me sale más bien. Quiero ver qué me sale cuando trato de pintar a mi papá de la memoria sin tratar de hacer, obviamente, un retrato como tradicional, pues. O sea, no, no se trataba nada de eso. Sino, sino simplemente como de, de, de mirar a ver qué salía cuando, cuando pensaba en mi papá. Y e hice esa y, y, y no sé... O sea, es como chévere porque supongo que cada una de esas... No sé si sana cosas, yo no sé si en mi caso había como necesidad de sanar nada, pero, pero no sé, como que cumple una función para mí. O sea, estoy hablando de para mí de nuevo. Esto no es como cosas que debería hacer la gente. Pero, y, y hoy en día, por ejemplo, si me dijera, oiga, ¿tiene una necesidad de pintar a su papá? Yo diría que no. Yo diría que no. O sea, no es como que lo esté evadiendo tampoco, sino que, sino que siento como que las cosas que, que pude hacer que pude hacer con él en vida, o sea, cuando lo pinté en vida, me siento súper orgulloso de las cosas que hice, igual las cosas que he hecho con mi mamá. Eh, y y las, los pequeños como esfuerzos por reencontrarme que, que hice eh, con él ya, ya no estando acá, pues también como que cumplieron una función súper bonita. Pero, pero, pero no sé... O sea, no, no sé si, si, si tuviera que decir como, bueno, ¿y cuándo, cuándo lo va a volver a pintar? O si existe esa... No sé. De pronto en algún momento de mi vida otra vez surgirá como una, un interés o una curiosidad por decir... De pronto cuando mucho tiempo más pase es como, uy, ¿qué, como qué memoria queda de mi papá? Como qué cosas quedaron y de pronto quisiera... O sea, investigar eso no como si, si el papá de uno fuera como un sujeto de investigación, sino que me causaría mucha curiosidad como ver eh, qué le queda a uno emocionalmente o, y si uno pudiera traducir eso a, otra vez a pintura. Y, y también como interesante ver qué, de qué, tan, qué tanto se aferró uno a una idea o qué tanto esa idea cambió. Y, y, y no lo digo, y si sí quisiera como iterar en esto, no lo digo como pensando que esto es un ejercicio de pintura, para nada es más como un, un ejercicio de autoconocimiento, o sea, a través de la pintura pero, pero por eso le, le decía que uno no tiene ni siquiera que mostrar esas pinturas yo creo que hay muchas pinturas, esos retratos que yo hice de mi papá, yo no creo que estén de pronto están por ahí, pero no, no me interesaba tampoco, y uno lo tiene mi hermano y el otro no sé, mi hermana de pronto, sé que uno lo tiene mi hermano pero de resto no, no estoy tan seguro. Daniel Ira. No, no, don't, don't worry. I can, uh, I can do this part. Uh, uh, so I think I'm going to leave it here, Daniel Ira. Yep. Yeah, because I, uh, I don't know. I like the wholeness of the image. Me too. Like the bigness of the image. Um, When I was doing the uh, bottom part, I realized that uh, that I wanted, I didn't want the bottom part to feel um, so different from the rest of the painting. Or no, because I had done the dark, your your dark jacket, and then I went down and, and did the um, kind of this faux table. Um, I realized that I, I was liking a lot of this, but then if I... You know, if I went up here and I tried to do like a portrait, I know that people love that. People love like very loose kind of atmospheres and then suddenly there's a portrait. Like that's something people like, uh, I guess. But uh, for the sake of this painting, I thought, oh, it's it's nice if there's like um, kind of like a sameness to everything, which is something that's been interest like I've been interested in uh, for the past, I would say, couple of years, just... um. Um, 
using painting as a sort of homogenizing, um, you know, I don't know, material, factor, act, however you want to see it. I don't know. Um, so so I, as, as soon as I was down here, I was like, oh, I think I want to just make it about painting. I don't know if I want to make it about um, my ability to just paint something attractive up here. Um, so I, 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 um, you know, I went for that, um, just more open areas of shadow, less specificity, um, you know, not, not a lot of, um, attention to the features, uh, just, you know, what is barely there. And I thought, I thought it was, um, I thought it was nice when I saw it, when I saw it kind of, uh, playing off of the things that were already there. I was like, yes, I like this. I, I think I like it. I, I'm enjoying how it's looking. And um, yeah, I, and I've been doing like a bunch of paintings where I take something to different degrees of, of, um, of uh, development or, or solving them in different, um, not degrees, because I guess like when you solve something and if you solve it simply, that is a way of solving something. And if, if other instances require you to solve it in a more, I don't know, developed, com complex way, or um, I don't know, involved way. No, I, I, I struggle to find the words because yeah, I... because I don't think it's like that one means that you're doing less. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because I never it's want... it's simpler, it exactly. doesn't mean it's less. Sometimes yes, exactly. it's even harder. Yeah, I would say each each one has their own set of like variables and yeah and no, but I get what you're saying because if you say if I I solved it in a higher degree, no, then yeah, it's no, giving it like yeah a hierarchy, right? Or or it's implying that just because something is detailed, it was you know that that is that that's the norm that that is like the bar yeah. and everything else is like below the bar yeah. or or something. Um, and I don't think that. I just my brain doesn't work that way. I just I don't think that way. I just think whatever a painting needs, I'm gonna try and do. That's all I think about. Like the rest doesn't really in, in like interest me. Um, so I like this. I I really, I really do. I think it's um, I kind of imagined as if I was uh, sitting like across the bar from you or something. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And instead of talking to you, I was uh, awkward and I just uh, began to paint you like some somebody who's In like... a parallel world, that's how... Yeah, that should be a lot of red flags if somebody's just staring at you and painting you, you know, at the bar. But um, <laughs> uh, yeah, run, yeah. Danny, I would be run. calling a uh, uh, car to pick the, me up. Yeah, yeah, and a car to pick me up in cuffs. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, no, so I, I I don't know. There's um when I see this, there's there's like um I never want to like give people or or to make it like a a foe from life painting, you know, to give it a sense of like like an artificial sense of life. I don't like thinking of that that way. But I do think that life, you know, teaches you when you're observing things from life and when you're, you know, if you're able to paint things from life, you start to like your brain starts to understand what it means to paint from life, like what it entails and and what it feels like. And and um, and I think this sounds weird, but I think that you can bring that to other paintings. Mm -hmm. You really can. It's strange but it's very strange in an interesting way how you can you know again it's not about faking you're not faking that it's just that you are taking something you learned and you're using it in other paintings that's all you're doing and um and i think that that's super interesting but that's i feel that that's what i did uh with this one there's there's like a sense of um of us sharing like a a place as if you know i'm like right here yeah. as an observer but yeah, also like is part i am of it. also like, here at your table just yeah. kind of like gawking at you you know so uh lovingly i would say oh 
toys. Yeah. So, Danny Lira. Cookie. Right? Uh, with that, uh, I think we're good. Yeah, we are. Yes. So, I have to uh, pack things. Yes. Thank yeah. you, everyone, for joining us. Whoa. Well, you're not going to pack today. I know you. Oh, I, I am. Really? Yeah, I am. Oh, that's for, oh, pack for shipping. Oh, my bag? I thought your bag, and I was like, What? No, it's, a, it's downstairs in the deposit. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was saying. What are you talking gonna about? Today. Oh, for course. I'm going to pack like half an hour before yeah. I leave. No, no. Um, so what was it going to say? Uh, I don't know if you guys, I'm, I'm screaming. I'm sorry. Manage yeah, your vocals. Manage your vocals, lady. I don't know if you've seen our uh, YouTube shorts. Uh huh. That we've been uploading. Yeah. So if you haven't, check them out. They're a very cool throwback to some videos that we've done in yes. the past. Something's bothering me. So, but keep going. I'm totally <laughs> Go there with you. Um, we have Instagrams. We have a web page where we uh, sell all the things that we do. Our web page is ourpaintedlives.com. Our Instagrams are Nicolas Uribeb and Daniela OCMP. If yeah. you want to check those out and uh, give us some love, I don't know. What? To our work? No, yeah, like sh I don't know. Send us money? What are you no. asking for? <laughs> it's like begging and scrounging um, for we likes. We have a TikTok. Yeah. And uh, the infamous TikTok. Oh. It's our painted lives. It's like growing exponentially, I would say. Yeah. I mean, it's growing, I guess. Uh-huh. But, yeah. So, that's it. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Yes. And do you want to say something else? Uh, no. no. I'm going to miss... Uh, I mean, we're planning on doing uh, one on or Thursday. two or, or two more. Uh, no, we could do one tomorrow. Oh, what day is today? When, Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, fine. Yeah, yeah, Wednesday I have my class. So that we would have... Uh, Thursday, I'm sorry. So we would have to do a morning one. On no, Wednesday. so I think we're going to do it tomorrow and maybe... Yeah. Because you would have to pack on Thursday. I can pack on Friday. I can. I mean, physically, then I can. We have to do, see the episode of the <laughs> terrible series <laughs> okay. that we look uh, bad, so... Yeah. I'm going to miss everyone. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm gone. I'm gonna miss you a lot. Oh, of course, I'm Chili's gonna, gonna miss you a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna miss uh, you both. Um, yeah, I'm super interested. I'll I'll talk uh, about the experience uh, when I get back. For sure. Good and bad. Yeah. I'm very honest. You know me. Super open. Uh, and when I say bad, not bad as in things that didn't go well. You know, in terms of organization or, you know, things that are beyond your control, which that's no, no, no. I, I would never talk uh, badly about something, uh, you know, unless it's like super, you know, tragic, like it's so bad that you have to mention something. No, but bad in my like in a self-critical sense, like, oh, I could have, you know, this was difficult for me or I could have done better doing this or yeah. this. Like, I, I'm totally fine being open about stuff that I could have done a little bit better. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll let everyone know how that let went. Everyone I'll let, know. uh, well, I, I was going to say, I'll let you know, but no, I won't just let you know. I'll, I'll let everyone know about that. Yes. Okay. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, tomorrow. and have a and good Friday. day and Rosalind go to sleep. Yeah. Come on, dude. So yeah. Thank you everyone. We'll Thank see you. you. Bye.